What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome to the 65th edition of the On Blast Show. Yep. We, uh, we have our uh, Dark Natus with us, and as you see here, I was just presented with a court order, as you heard me talking on stream earlier, a court order from the sheriffs that my wife is uh, taking me to court. So let's, let's, let's just run down a quick list of the evil things I have done. This is the, so, so all you guys out there that are thinking about marrying a hoe, um, think twice. Um, basically, in a nutshell, the letter says, um, the respondent, which is myself, has committed the following family offenses against me and or my children, which constitute attempted assault, assault in the second or third degree, aggravated harassment in the second degree, harassment in the first or second degree, what? Di disorderly conduct, menacing in the second or third degree, reckless endangerment, stalking, criminal mischief, wait, get this one, sexual abuse in the second or third degree, second, sexual misconduct, forcible touching, criminal obstruction of breathing or circulation. What the fuck? <laughs> I guess I was choking it at that and I didn't know. Well, I didn't know, like, having, having sex and choking somebody is, is against the law. Well, apparently I do that forcefully. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. What the fuck? So, needless to say, um, I mean, yeah, butthole sex. <laughs> um, uh, and basically she came out and said the most recent incident was on September 2nd. Let me see what September 2nd was, just out of curiosity. <laughs> what day was it? Why it be a Tuesday? No, it was a Monday. Wasn't she, weren't you separated already? No, we're not legally separated. Oh, but yeah, but she's been gone for a fucking few months. Yeah, exactly. So what the fuck happened on September well, 2nd? she basically said the respondent has acted in a way which I consider dangerous or threatening to me. Um, the most recent incident, I am pregnant and I am afraid. The respondent calls Ecuador to insult and to scare my family, and I have proof. He scares and stalks me through people he hires. All of a sudden, OBS is a real mafiosa. I fucking hire people to take care of shit. Oh, fuck. So, needless to say, I was just giving that, like, literally at uh, 5 to 10. So, um... Did someone come and serve you it? Yeah, sheriffs came to my house. Oh, nice. Yeah, so... That's, uh, that's my excitement. And for all you out there also, just so, you know, you can see I got my, uh, my little fucking surgery thing done there. So, my gut is gutted. I'm a fat fuck, but, oh well, what are you gonna do? Um... Oh, how is that surgery? Did and, everything come out right? I, I mean, it's, nothing came out, thank God. I mean, unfortunately, now I shit for my belly button, but, you know, the doctor did something wrong. I don't know. I'm all right. I'll survive. I got pain pills. They take care of everything. Um, okay. Uh, basically, our usual, you know, I'm going to run down our list quick here, guys. Uh. Yeah, I know. Uh, obviously, uh, Ultra Spec Cable, B for Techie, Kick Punch Block, Combat Network, VXG, MKU, MK Online, MKBible.org, Mortal Kombat Universe, The Game is Edge, Pro PC Gaming. Um, I dropped my fucking lighter. It's going to be one of those nights, guys. It's going to be a long night, I can tell already. Um, oh, shit. And then we got uh, TRMK. And we got Mad Cats. Uh, shout out to uh, Mr. Markman wishing me a healthy recovery on my surgery. See, we're not all scumbags in this community. Uh, Deadly Venom. Uh, is, is Injustice guy still around? The Justice Society? Yeah. The site's still up, but like, nobody really goes to it. I uh, love you too, Will Parker. Um, you know, basically, uh, you get the gist of down the list. I mean, I went. To, I think I pretty much covered everything. Um, also, obviously, thank our boys over here at MKU, ever supporting us uh, since day one. And with that said, I know Natus has an announcement he does want to make. Do you want to make that now? Uh, yeah. So, I will... I will give you the floor because apparently the government can't get things done right so at least I'll hand the floor over to you 
All right. We can take the logos off there. Oh, I can say. Damn, we're really delayed on the screen there. Yeah, the res is up really high. I like the fuck. I'm going to keep it up as high as possible now. All right, looks good. All right, guys. Uh, guys, you know, we've been doing this on Black Show for over a year now. Um, a lot of things have gone on through over the years. Uh, you know, I'm proud to have done this from the beginning, but as of today, I am officially retiring from doing the show. This will be my last episode I will end up being on here. Um, due to changes at work, um, moving up in the world and stuff like that, uh, I regrettably won't be able to be able to do the show anymore. I'm not going to have the time. I technically, right now, I have to be up, I have to be at work at 5 o'clock in the morning. So, um, I'm actually not even going to be staying on here that much longer. Yeah, so, you know, I, I, in a way, I, I, I wanted to keep doing it, but I just can't. It's, I mean, work is work, and I have to do what I have to do with work, and I'm trying to, you know, get things going with my life and everything, and, you know, you know I, I can't keep doing what I'm doing right now. So, work has actually gotten better, and, um, you know, it's all about that money these days, guys. You know, we got to do what we have to do, you know, and we always tell you guys, make sure you got that nine to five job because gaming world ain't going to fucking pay the bills for you. And, you know, like I said, I've been doing my job for a long time and things have gone up and uh, gotten better for me. And um, I got b bigger responsibility to deal with. So I, I just can't do this show anymore right now. And um, James will continue to hold it down for as long as long he... Until he gets sick and tired of doing the show, I guess. It ain't gonna happen. I ain't gonna <laughs> stop it. <laughs> so, will I ever come on? I don't know. I, I really doubt I'll ever have a chance to. Uh, like I said, it's just extremely difficult for me to even come on anymore now. And now with the new changes that work for me, and I, it, it's just not possible. I, 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 gotta, I gotta focus on work. So, that's pretty much what's happening right now. And nine to six sucks. <laughs> yeah, guys. So, yeah, it's been like a, a nice year run for me. But, uh, you know, James, I guess we'll eventually find someone else to help co-host the show. Or I don't know what you plan on doing, James. Oh, like I said, as of right now, um, I'm going to do guest co-hosts. So anybody that's in the chat, um, I especially want to get he no good. Um yeah, I want to get guys that just want to come on and uh, be the host for the night. Um, other things that I got going on, um, I had just spoken with, uh, uh, I just spoke what, with uh, Sammy Joe and Michelle Lee for Mortal Kombat Legacy 2, um, the actresses that played Molina and Katana, and we'll be having them on in either the following week or the week after. Uh, Michelle is currently filming... Uh, Transformers 4 and Sammy's very busy. <clears throat> that episode will happen on a two uh, on a Wednesday rather than a Tuesday, unfortunately, and that's due to uh, Sam's schedule. But uh, I do have confirmation from both of them. Um, you know, I uh, you know I I've, I've got other guys that I've been speaking to. Brian T, um, the guy uh, I can't pronounce his name that played Kano in the original Legacy. So we are going to start going a little bit back towards some of the guests. <clears throat> you don't think Johnny now. Cage also, right? And Johnny Cage, Casper <clears throat> Van Dien, 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 I can't pronounce his name. So, you know, we definitely, uh, we're definitely going to have, uh, you know, more of those guests. Like I said, we were just waiting for uh, the Legacy series to come out. I really didn't expect it to roll out like every episode in one day. Yeah, neither was I. I, I and... Just to comment on that, I, I found this show to be really good, and I'm wanting more. And I guess there'll be a season three after watching the end of it. Wait, James, did you watch it? Yeah. Okay, what did you think of it? Um, I liked it. You know, I definitely liked it. And, uh, you know, it's it, the fatalities were it was just enough fatalities. The ending left me pissed because I, want, I, want, I obviously wanted more. Yes, yes. It, it just kind of, it just kind of like gave a stare down, you know, with with uh, what's his name, with uh, with Eric uh, Stryker and Kang, and you was just like, to be continued. What do you mean? You know, but overall, I think it was really, it, it was done very well. 
Um, fatalities were done in the right timing. Uh oh, hold on a second. Take over here. Take this call. Good. Yeah, definitely the the series was really good. I hope a lot of you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm not sure how much YouTube views this got. Last time I checked, it was two million. It's probably up more than that from the last time I even actually looked at it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm hoping the end of it actually. Maybe they they won't do a season three. Just the end of it left of it a click a clip as a cliffhanger, and prelude to the movie coming out eventually. I guess in the next like year and a half, two years or something, whenever the, the movie comes out. So. I guess we all got to just wait and see and find out, you know, and maybe if Kevin uh, Tantrum will post something up in regards about that. I'm not sure if he has. I haven't really been stalking his Twitter to find out, but uh, it would be nice. So, yeah, an awesome season. But, yeah, it was definitely – it felt short. I mean, some of the episodes seemed kind of long, but they weren't long because then they had the preview part in the beginning and then the little filler things at the end. So the episodes weren't all that fucking long. So – it's like eh, back and forth with that, but um, yeah, I, I see Chris G going boo, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I wasn't. Uh, how do I say? It? I I just you want more. I I, I felt the fight scenes was definitely kind of good. Um, I I wasn't up. I the, I feel the fight scenes were probably better in season one. A lot of people were saying that the fight scenes was better, but I thought the fight scenes was pretty good. I don't like how Sub Zero looks. Sub Zero looked like shit in the goddamn uh, in the in the show. Uh, I'm not fond of his BMX bike gear and whatever the fuck he had there. So I was not a big fan of that. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much for the mo for the show part. Um, we just gotta wait for whenever we get that. And uh, I take it James is still on a call right now. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. So that's pretty much it. Now, as for other stuff that's going on, we got the Injustice patch that dropped out today. I know a lot of people want to talk about, and uh, I personally don't play Grand Theft Auto V, but I've seen a shitload of my friends playing online, and I'm hearing everybody's having problems trying to play Grand Theft Auto V online because apparently the servers crashed or some shit, or I, I, I don't know exactly, but I've been reading people are, are trying to play online, they can't play online, and I don't know. You know, as for the patch stuff for more Injustice, I did get a chance to play, mess around with my two characters I you, which was Martian Manhunter and Green Arrow. Uh, I felt Green Arrow, um, his buffs was very good. Um, his stinger that's now safe with meter burn option uh, was definitely viable. I just got to try to get that into my game plan. Even though I don't like wasting meter with him because I usually save that for the super. And Martian Manhunter, uh, I don't like the fact that he nerfed his back one three, which led to uh, like a free kind of vortex kind of uh, cross up kind of thing. A lot of people found that cheap, but the people who actually knew how to fight against that, you know, knew what to do, and you would, and you would get blown up if they got, if they blocked it. So it kind of sucked they took that out because people complained about because they just didn't understand how to block it. You know, James, you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm back. Okay. Um. Yeah, we can talk about the patch right now. What do you think about... I, I didn't get a chance to sit with the patch much. Uh, Rio and myself were talking. Apparently, Green Arrow got some buffs. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. You know, so... Which is kind of good at the same time, but... I don't know. Like I said, I personally would have left it as is. And just let people deal. But, you know, NRS tries to please everybody. And unfortunately, you know, knowing Ed for 25 years, you know, he's the first to admit you can't please everybody. So just please yourself. Uh huh. You know, but, uh, you know, obviously some people feel it was a much needed, uh, a much needed buff uh, to certain characters, much needed nerfs to certain characters. So. You know, I mean, from what I'm being told now, it's not as dramatic to uh, to Black Adam as everybody made it sound. Yeah, I saw somebody post a new combo video with corner combos with fucking over 50% damage with Black Adam now. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, so... I I'm like, mean, what kind of nerf was that? He's doing fucking like 60% in the fucking corner. It just goes to show the people that cry have no, you know, no reason to cry because they obviously have no idea what they're talking about. You know, the game is broken like Marvel, you know, and that's how it's going to remain. And, you know, people just, you know, deal with it. You know, yes, uh, Will, I'm supporting NYPD. It's because I didn't get a chance to fucking do my hair. And I've been, yeah, I know, stop smoking. I'm sorry. 
got a damn it wrong. But I, I, I need cigarettes. I popped a couple of Vicodins. I like these new Budweiser Black Crown, by the way. Budweiser, the drink, the America's beer. Well, it was America's beer. Now it's fucking some other country's beer. But, uh, you know, overall, uh, like I said, I haven't gotten a chance to sit with it. I haven't gotten a chance to get online yet. Um, I've gotten messages already. Um, speaking of which, let me go to my lovely messages. Uh, what kind of messages do you get here? Oh, let's see. I got, uh, where are we? Uh, Joey Baines telling me that people are already bitching about OBS taking over the universe. Dude was mad because, uh, you know, he's saying that we don't go to tournaments. I'm like, really? We don't go to tournaments. Did you know, did you know that? Huh? OBS doesn't show up at tournaments. Uh, who said that? Some fucking jerk off. Some jerk off in the, the Grand Theft Auto world. Well, you know what? <clears throat> we do show up to tournaments, and not to mention the fact that um, Baines, you know, your official first mission is to humiliate this guy every chance you get. Um, blow him the fuck up. Bring me his head on a platter, and I'll get you an OBS shirt out there. Um, you know, um, basically... Uh, yeah, it's just your typical shit talking online, you know, nothing, nothing out of the norm, you know, but, uh, you know, these cock sniffers that are out there that uh, want to, uh, again, keyboard warriors talk shit online, you don't go to tournaments, you don't do that, it's just helpful for the FGC, as well as these articles from Penny Arcade being, all of a sudden, listen. Oh, I read that. What the fuck, dude? I mean, like, all of a sudden... We're a community of kumbaya and political correctness. Our own government can't run right, but yet somehow the FGC is going to. We got people writing articles that, to be quite honest, they, they live pathetic lives. They, they have nothing better to do than insult and look for anything to pick on. Now, don't get me wrong. The, the transvestite or transgender that did the article for Grand Theft Auto... Um, you know, the people calling for him to hurt him, her to be uh, thrown off. That's stupid. You know, you're allowed to write what you want. Mm -hmm. um, um, but, uh, but basically, uh, you know, now all of a sudden everybody's on this male misogynistic, you know, we're all just in a, <laughs> a, in a all, all these women are being abused in a male world. Shut the fuck up. It's a goddamn video game. Who you know? Unfortunately, you're not gonna play Super Princess and save Mario stuck in a dungeon. That's just the way fucking the world is. You know, the woman is usually the one that's in distress. That's been the mo of life in general since the beginning of fucking time. Caveman Joe went and saved fucking you know Jane from Caveman B because fucking he fucking wanted to get some. Very simple. But now all of a sudden, everybody wants to write articles. Uh, did anyone write about the torture scenes in Grand Theft Auto, though? I haven't seen that. A torture scene? Yeah. Uh, Grand Theft Auto got a lot of fucked up shit in there. Yeah, you know, but it, it's a game. It's a game. I, you know, if people can't separate reality from fucking fantasy, then you shouldn't be playing games. Mm -hmm. You know, it's to the point, did you read the article about Microsoft's stage show where a transgender person was on stage and they kept referring to them as it? Wow, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, look, <clears throat> you know, um, I'll be honest with you. I have nothing against transgender people. I, I have called per, uh, some people in it because mm -hmm. you know what? It's... It's not that it's a bitter pill to swallow. It's hard to accept as the norm that, you know, somebody... And I'm not saying that that person in any way, shape, or form is wrong. I'm just saying mentally it's a... There's a block there. And it's for most people out there that you just... You know, if somebody goes from, you know, male to female to automatically call them a female. Knowing that they were, that they were originally born a male. You know, and it's nothing against transgender people, but I have to say, it's just a hard, it's a bitter pill to swallow in the sense of uh, 
you know, psychologically being able to reprogram yourself to say, all right, well, this, you know, I knew Joe, now Joe is Jane. So mm -hmm. now I have to adjust Jane, or, or should I say Joe as Jane, and basically drop their gender. <laughs> to drop somebody's gender is a hard thing. You know, and that's just in casual conversation. Now, some people pull it off. Cara Face, KO Police, you know, they've been brought into the scene that way. But, like, when I meet people that, like, you know, we're Joe today and tomorrow they're Jane, it's hard for me to fucking swallow. <laughs> you know, and, and, and Dark Lurker, unless you get your balls chopped off and have tit implants, you're not transgender, you're a cross dresser. That's correct, too. Yo, what's up there, Mr. Molina? You know, so, I mean... These articles have gotten to the point now where they're, they're, they're just outright stupid. I mean, these, these online websites, they should just be shut down. Penny Arcade, you're garbage. I mean, you're a horrible, you know, when, when they wrote the article about us with the, with the Homeboy Tyson video, little segment plugged in there, and, you know, these guys literally have nothing to write about. You don't have no games to write about? I mean, aren't you a gaming magazine or supposed to be a gaming a gaming website? And yet you 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 write these articles of quote unquote political correctness. Shut the fuck up. You're a goddamn game player. You're not a politician. And just do what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. I don't care about your political point of views. Look, some people believe in abortion, some people don't. I don't give a shit. Do what you want to do. As long as it doesn't affect me, I don't care. Um, How about the government shutting down today? Oh, uh, well, that's, you know, I don't blame, <laughs> I, you know what? I don't blame, everybody else is blaming Republicans. I don't blame the Republicans. Fuck that. I don't want those goddamn benefits. Because those benefits are hurting me. Because those benefits, basically, what, what's happening is now my company's cutting down their hours to make everybody part-time to get out of doing the benefits. And that's what a lot of other companies are going to do. That has nothing to do with Republicans. That has to do with nobody wanting this fucking deal. You know, and it goes hand in hand with the government, you know, what their first thing was, which, well, let's pass the bill first and then read it. You know, well, and, and the good thing for me, I, I just because that, cause that happened today, there was less traffic for me getting to work. Well, which, I mean, was it, I, didn't, well, I didn't work today, fortunately for me, so... Yeah, the streets were, like, really much deader today. Really? What shut down? Uh, I guess... What, what, what can we say? Uh, anything government... Anything by the federal government. I mean, besides, besides uh, police... Police is pretty much one of the main things that's, that's not going to get cut off right now. What um, a state, anyway. Yeah, and state or state state separate. So, uh, damn, like you know, basically federal buildings, uh, government buildings and shit like that. Um, as far as if nobody wanted it, Albert, if nobody wanted it, and why was Obama reelected? Um, because he was the lesser of two evils, and that's usually typically what, you know, constitutes somebody getting voted in a second time. The same thing could be said about Bush. Everybody hated Bush, but he got reelected. So, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's sad that, you know, and, and I got nothing against Obama on a personal level. I don't believe with 99% of his views, but, uh, you know, I mean, I know for a fact his uh, Secretary of Treasury, Jack Lew, I know him personally. And, you know, he worked at Citigroup, which was doing a whole bunch of shady shit. And then all of a sudden he gets out and gets a job with the fucking government. So, mm -hmm. you know, this shady shit that goes on, it'll always go on. Um, you know, it's not going to, and like Static saying, it actually ain't going to shut much down. It's just, it's, a, it's BS talk. You know, they, they, it's, it's one, one side of the aisle bitching to the other side of the aisle. And in my opinion, hopefully at least the Obamacare thing gets put off at least for a year. You know, at least, at least for a year. What's up, Cyrus? Uh, I see someone got a link for Infowars. Mm. I like that site. I actually read a lot, of, listen to a lot of the articles and shit like that from like Alex Jones and stuff. But you know, I mean, it's 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 you know, we let's not focus on the government because the government the government ain't done shit right since fucking the beginning of time, or at least since the seventeen eighteen hundreds. Um, well, they, civil rights. All right, well, I did one thing. That was the last thing they did right. Uh, actually, no women's rights. 
correct myself. Mm -hmm. So that was the last thing they did actually intelligent. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> what's up, Zeno? Jamie's not here today. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, I'm more concerned of the state of the FGC right now. And, you know, I see all the, B sh the BS going on. Now, you know, I wasn't... Wait, wait, wait. did you see the video? What, what happened at... Um... I was just going to say Canada Cup with uh, F Champ. Yes. <laughs> Listen, you know, you know, I've never seen a piss poor example of somebody trying to backtrack when they said something stupid rather than just say, you know what, my bad, that was kind of fucked up and move along. Um... Yeah, F Champ was right in the situation. Yeah, F Champ was 100% right. You he was know, right. He's defending his friend. You know, the girl is sitting across the room. You know, now. Oh, the girl right in front of him. Yeah. You know, I, I, I didn't. Uh, Who was that dude that was on there? I don't. I forgot what his name was. Somebody mentioned his name. I, I don't know, man. Yeah, you know, uh, Colonel. Why would you say F Champ was in the wrong? Yeah, I watched it. Uh, you know, um, let me bring it up, actually. Oh, Chris never saw it. People, like, never saw it. You want the link? I could get the link. Get the link. Yeah, get the link. I, I, I know where I saw it at. Uh, let me see. Hey, listen, I mean, I, you know what? He no good. I, it's one thing I understand the whole taking it out of context. Um, and, you know, somebody said to me that, like, well, you know, you say things on your show. Yeah, but you know what? Um, you expect that. And the people that I do at times take direct blows at have actually done things to me. Like, I've never gone after Justin Wong and said, you know, fucking. Hey, yeah, James. All right, throw the link up. Let me get that in there. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Alright, let me throw this link up, guys. We're, we're gonna play the video, guys. Alright. So you guys know what happened. Okay, let's see. I'll mute my mic. Yeah. Like, these guys, they don't get it, man. You've been coming to Canada for, what, is this two or three years in a row now? You guys, guys let me tell you it, something you've about the Stream Monsters. The Stream Monsters... Been coming to Canada for what is this two or three years in a row now? You guys, let me tell you something about Stream Monsters. Stream Monsters gets three years in a row now. You guys, absolutely. Do you know they pay attention to every single thing that's going on on Stream right now? Do you know they pay attention to every single thing that's going on on Stream right now? Dude, they pay attention to every single thing that's going on on Stream right now. Dude, they pay attention to every single thing that's going on on Stream right now. Dude, they pay attention to every single thing that's going on on Stream right now. Dude, they pay attention to every single thing that's going on on Stream right now. Dude, they pay attention to every single thing that's going on on Stream right now. Dude, they pay attention to every single thing that's going on on Stream right now. Dude, they pay attention to every single thing that's going on on Stream right now. Dude, they pay attention to every single thing that's going on on Stream right now. Dude, they pay attention to every single thing that's going on on Stream right now. Dude, they pay attention to every single thing that's going on on Stream right now. Dude, they pay attention to every single thing that's going on on Stream right now. Dude, no sound. But still, that's very. Get it. If okay, you don't show up, you don't get it. No sound. Like these guys. That's very. Get it. If you don't show up, you don't get it. I gotta. Hold on. I gotta kill the audio a second. Okay. It's gotta die down. It fucking. Die. Let me close this off. Let me reopen it. Uh, annoying.
Why is it always fucking doing this? What the fuck, yo? That's because I got two of them open. Bear with me. Fucking annoying. Get it. If you don't show up, you don't get it. Like these guys, they don't get it, man. You've been coming to Canada for what? Is this two or three years in a row now? You don't understand. Let me tell you something about the stream monsters. The stream monsters get three years in a row now. Getting a goddamn double feedback for some fucking reason. This is really annoying me. All right, let me do this. Let me drop it for a second, and I'll go back to it. Let me go back to it. Um. I don't know why Neo is called, but, uh, yeah, I know, I'm getting double feedback, so give it a second to, uh, I don't know why the fuck that keeps doing that to me, it's annoying, I gotta figure out why I'm getting two sets of audio coming through, uh, let me see something, there, let's see if that works. I hear my fucking mouse being clipped, which is annoying me. I don't know what the fuck the deal is with that, guys. Unfortunately, I uh, yeah, I got him. It's not a matter of muting myself. I got to mute my stream, but... Yeah, let's see. How's that? Let's see. I'm going to have one of those lovely days. Lovely days. Come on, mixer. You cocksucker. No. Put the link in the chat. Because it's not, it's not doing it right. Alright. Throw the link in the chat. And I mean, basically, I wish fucking... Let me see. What the fuck is up with this thing? It's really annoying me. I know what they had just signed. Like, they just talked about some random stuff. They're talking about Sherry is banging out the time. The stream wants to talk about some random attention. Do you know that Sherry is banging out the time? She can't hear me. But still, that's Sherry. All right, fuck it. We'll talk about it. I'll put it in. I would not tolerate that. I would not tolerate that. That's very disrespectful. She's actually my friend. What? How do you send it with the thing in your computer? I don't know. Your wife ain't there no more, so what the fuck? It's just it automatically certain applications that I run during the day take over the sound setting, so. But basically, in a nutshell, this guy pretty much uh, talked uh, hypothetically, but let's be real. You know, if you're going to say something like that, say it to her face. Who Sherry is banging, you know. And, and basically insulting, quote-unquote, stream monsters. You know. It's another typical typical example of somebody that's so high and mighty upon themselves that uh, because they go to tournaments, that makes them something better than the guy that comes and just either listens to the show or, you know, you know, and 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 it's just you got to even like with myself with the fucking hot pocket surprise video. You know, yeah, mine's a jab and a joke, but you kind of got to, when it comes to chicks, you kind of got to, I hate to say it, you kind of have a little more cooth, you know, um, you know, you got to have a little bit more cooth when it comes to dealing with chicks. The guy was drunk, so I can give him that excuse, um, but he was a stumbling idiot. Yeah, I mean, he basically, uh, he was basically trying to fix what he did um, and only compounded it more by adding more wood into the fire by making excuses that well no it was just I'm just talking about the rumors these are the very same things that they yell at the OBS show because we're a rumor mill apparently um, but <coughs> you know I don't think it's something to the point where 
you know, this guy needs a scolding. It was just a, a drunken, stupid mistake. But then Sherry apparently confronted him, you know, after it, and apparently it was all resolved. So, but, you know, it's, you know, the, the stream monsters, you know what, look, F. Champ was out there defending them, saying, hey, look, you know what, they're just as much a part of this community as, as, as players. You know, whether you go to an event or not is, is really irrelevant. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's like, if you bought the game, you're part of the community. You know, you know, and, you know, F Champ might have taken it, you know, I'll say uh, he took it to level X, but it is just... No, no, I don't think he did. But, level but, X is fucking throwing fists at people. No, le no, level Z is straight up fist fights. <laughs> he got a couple of letters left. But Sherry is his friend. You know, Sherry is his friend, and he's defending his friend. Now... You know, it got to the point where it did get stupid. It was like, okay, it was said, it was done, that's it, move along. You know, the over-dramatizing it, um, you know, the over-dramatizing it is a little much. Uh, why are we acting like Sherry having sex is something that is offensive to her? It's not that it's something offensive to her, but to use her as an example, um, comparing stream monsters in a negative way and for somehow Sherry to be kind of packed in there. That's kind of what it was. Um, but like I said, it, it was nothing to the point where, you know, the world's coming to an end. It was drunken banter at best. You know, and, you know, it's, you know, it's, you know what, yeah, I agree he was kind of mixing the pot a little bit. I know, I know, uh, you know, Champ has a tendency to do that. But I think there was a little bit of uh, a, a little a little bit of reality in there too. I mean, let's be real, guys. You know, if she was your girl, not that she's F Champ's girl, and you heard somebody was talking shit about her like that, you'd probably want to punch the shit out of him. You know, so I mean, that's where like, you know, you got to kind of there ain't no limelight, you know, where these top players are, you know subjected to paparazzis and all this other shit but you know the stream monsters the stream monsters you know this you know souls and i wouldn't say the stream monsters are dicks i mean yeah they, they say some fucked up shit sometimes but we're all stream monsters at one time or another you know so it's like that's part of this entertainment that we do when we go to these you know streams and watch these events is basically it's a way for you to open up and tell people, hey, go fuck yourself, you know, and not have to worry about, you know, somebody coming to your house, knocking on your door and kicking the shit out of you. But either way, like I said, it's it's it's, it's neither here nor there. Um, the issue was resolved. Um, misunderstanding. Who's to blame? Honestly, I don't care. I was glad that F Champ stuck up for his friend. Um, I wasn't glad that it went to the level that... You know, it continued. I don't know what he was calling Neo for. I guess, uh, was Neo running the stream, maybe? Uh, I'm not sure. You know, because then right away that guy got taken off. You know, um, and it, it, I think, it, you know, Gapfest, I don't think it was the fact that um, he mentioned what the stream monsters said. Unfortunately, because my fucking, sh my shitty ass equipment's working a little wacky right now. I got 35 different fucking things open. Let me see, son. Let me close all these. You know, I want to try this one more fucking time. Let me see, son. I want to try this one. No. I don't know what the fuck is up with this shit, man. Pissing me off. Pissing me off. What do we got? Let's see. Uh, I'm going to try it one more time and see. All right.
attention to every single thing that's going on on stream right now. Dude, man, you can do a walking 720 with Zangief, and the stream monsters do not know what they had just seen. Like, they just talked about some random stuff. They're talking about who Sherry is banging at the time the stream monsters. No. You know what? I think I got a separate mic. You know what? Let me see some recording devices. Hold on. Vin and Bear. Uh, do I have another microphone set up? That's feeding it back. Levels. Muted. Uh, I believe. Levels. Muted. That's fucked up. I would not tolerate that. <laughs> Look at this, man. We got the hype going right now. I'm just screwing around. Yeah, no. No, it's not. I'm not going to dick around with it. All right. I could spend all night going through it. But either way, like I said, guys, it's nothing. it wasn't a major to do. So let's just move on. Nothing to see here. Um, you know, as far as, uh, you know, tournaments coming up, we got NEC coming up uh, a couple of months. I think that's the next major. There gotta be something before that. I think Northwest Majors is coming up too soon. Uh, yeah, something's gotta be coming up. Yeah, Mr. Molina, it's working, but it's 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 echoing. Let, let me see. Hold on. Now everybody's saying it was working, so let's see. I didn't even. Oh, I didn't, I'm muted to hear it. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I'll tell you right now. Let yeah, me tell you something right about now. the tree monsters. The tree monsters get... What? Absolutely. Are you they serious? Do, do you know they pay attention to every single thing that's going on on stream right now? Dude, man, you, you, you can do a walking 720 to every single thing that's going on on stream right now. Dude, get it. If you don't show up, you don't get it. If you don't show up, you don't get it. Dude, get it. If you don't show up, you don't get it. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Let the volume die down a second and mute your mic. Let the volume die down a second. Let the volume die down a second. They don't get it, man. You've been coming to Canada for what? Is this two or three years in a row now? You guys, let me tell you something about the Tree Monsters. The Tree Monsters gets it. What? Absolutely. Are you serious? Do you know they pay attention to every single thing that's going on on stream right now? Dude, man, you can do a walking 720 with Zangief, and the Tree Monsters do not know what they had just seen. Like, they just talked about some random stuff. They're talking about who Sherry is banging at the time. The Tree Monsters are not paying attention. Do you know that Sherry's right in front of you, right? She can't hear me. But still, that's very disrespectful. I know. I know. She's my but friend, saying, like, too, I would not tolerate that. No? I would not tolerate that. That's really? very disrespectful. She's actually my friend. What? Yeah. That's very disrespectful. I'm just saying that's, that's what, really what, fucked up, too. Oh, that's really no. fucked up. Now you sound like a stream monster. Oh, oh I saw you. Yeah. Oh, no. That's very disrespectful. All right. Oh, right. you talk shit to Sherry. Yeah. She's right here in front of you. No, she can't hear me, man. No, she, she right. did. But that's very disrespectful. That's fucked up. I would not tolerate that. <laughs> Look at this, man. We got the hype going right now. I'm just screwing around. No, no. You, you just don't do that to a girl, dude. That's fucked up, dude. She already has to deal with a lot of fucking street monsters. And then you still got to talk shit? And she's right in front of you? Come on, Sorry, man. man. No, this, honestly, I was talking strictly hypothetical. I was trying to put myself in the shoes of a street monster because I don't believe in that stuff right now. You see my Twitter, man? I don't have anything to talk about ever. I don't say anything on my Twitter except stuff to do with the game. How I'm many, trying to um, put myself in the shoes of a street monster, but you were just saying the street monsters are a family. You get, you get these guys, hey? Um, I, I do get him, but, right. but what I'm saying is, do you have any Twitter followers? Do I? Saying, no. Yeah, you have three? Your mom, dad? Oh, no, I got almost 200. No, I don't have very many. Uh, you have at least 100 times as many as you right now. No. No, over 100 times. You have over 100 times as many stream followers as I have right now. Are you drunk? Am I? Oh, yeah. You? No. No. I'm sober. All right. 
You? No. So? No, I'm sober. All right. Yeah, what? I don't even know right now. So? Yeah, what? I don't even know right now. <laughs> Look at this man. Even after all this type of stuff. All of let me tell you something. 50, 50. Let me tell you something. They're the stream monsters. You can never control them. I know. Let me tell you something. They they just gotta be like that. And this is, you just gotta understand that. This is the this is gonna be like that for the whole duration of the fucking event. I know. It's actually looking directly. It seemed like. Burn out your brain if you're like Indiana Jones. You shut your eyes. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. You can never look right at the stream. The only time I see the stream. It's when they're all saying the same thing. Oh yeah, like they do. The Bible I see the stream, you, the, the stream monster is like one person. There's like one person. Oh man. And somewhere else, and then just with multiple usernames. Oh, it blows my mind, man. Because for some reason they all talk the same. Your brain was fucking melt. Chop gotta get out of there. We got some sad faces. Everyone is sad right now. Oh my god, I don't even know what's going on in this money match right now. I have no idea what this score is. It looks like Bon Chan is bodying some guy. Like, look at this, man. This is why you can't pay attention to the stream monsters. The stream monsters are This is like Event Horizon. This is when you go into hell. You the stream monsters, the stream monsters are fine, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, we need hype. Apparently you have to get drunk. So it's right after the smash, this is when you're playing Lap G, is it not? Um, I don't know about Lachi. He hasn't so even right to talked to me about Lachi's our match. I feel like he's not gonna play me. Oh, dude, Lachi will always play. Lachi like is always down. Oh, the stream, man! I have to give you guys a shout out. I have not done commentary. Look at the stream Where is Neo? years, man. Yo, Neo! All right, there we go. Champs have so he's moving on. Yo, Neo! <laughs> Neo. <laughs> Ski Sonic is not here. We do not have enough hats to outfit Ski Sonic right now. <laughs> Where's Neo? Uh, I need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> all right, all right. Yo, dude, he's fine. I just got to the sideways. Chap, it's all good. Go. Sure, man. <laughs> I don't have any idea, man. All right, so anyway, champ taps out. Champ taps out. So it's down to just me and John from Edmonton. What happened to champ? This is strange. Like I said, you guys, there was an Events Horizon mix-up. You guys have gone through the black hole. Nothing is going to make any sense from here on out. There was just an entire money match went past without me commentating on anything. Yeah. I'm not even sure you guys saw anything that happened. Scott obviously won. Yeah, that's Bon Chance, the best Scott in the entire universe. But he's not good enough. This late at night. Do I? Not really. I was just making jokes. I was talking strictly hypothetical. What the stream monsters want to on? That was. Good night stream. Apparently, I did defend some people at some point here. Right. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Needless to say, through that painful ordeal, um, look, I'm not justifying anything. I'm saying, look, I'm glad that F Champ defended her. Um, was he meant to? Was this guy meaning to be harmful? No, but it came off that way. And then rather than just say, "Hey, look, you know what? I fucked up. Move along. My bad." Um, he tried to make excuses. You know, and that's basically that's basically <coughs> the way I looked at it. You know, we had every excuse beyond. And then when she did confront him, he basically was like, "Oh, well, you know, I was just joking around." You know, so it is. It is what it is. But, you know, I mean, guys, look, let's be real here. 
you know, I don't find nothing wrong with trolling people. Shit, I get, I get off on it every day. It was an awkward moment, if anything. Mm -hmm. um, that, you know, should have been addressed a little differently on all parties. But, you know, honestly, I hate to say it, who cares? I like Sherry, she's nice to me. Um, but it is what it is. It's, it's, it, it comes with the territory of being one of the, the top girl players. You know, you're going to be subjected to some BS from time to time. Um, you know, sorry, James, I don't agree, but let's move along. Yes, I agree. You know, it's it's nothing to to linger on. You know, I just think that the guy with, with his drunken banter was just stupid. But with that said, um, so now we got the injustice patch. Um well, actually, James, let me let me get off because, like, like I said, I, I actually wasn't gonna stay on long. Okay. So, as a reminder to you guys, uh, in case you missed it, um, I'm retiring from the show. Uh, I would no longer be doing the show uh, due to work changes that's happened at work. Uh, I got more responsibilities now, and then I have to focus on work. So I won't be on any future episodes. Uh, maybe, maybe later in the future. Who knows? I don't know. But for the time being, right now, I'm officially retiring from the show. And James will continue on doing the show for you guys. So I'd like to thank everybody who's had me, who's heard me speak on here for over a year and everything. And, um, you know, I've done this for a long time already. But I just I just can't do it anymore. So um, sorry, guys. But, you know, the 9 to 5s are more important these days. And I have to do what I have to do for work. So, well, Oh, hello, children. What's up, Brian? Yeah, so I'm, still, I'm still writing up a little do-ditty taking time out of my busy schedule of wasting time in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure training mode. Um, yeah, all right, fuck JoJo. Let me get off. Guys, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> he just came right. in and cut me off. <laughs> well, no, I brought him in for a reason. <laughs> What's yeah. reason that? He's, he has a song for you. Well, it's, uh, not, it's not done yet, so I it. guess Wing you're going to have to. Wing it. All right, go ahead. Let me hear it. Let Wing me hear it. it before I get off. Wing it. Uh, all right. Let me see here. Let's see. Let's see if I won't be able to make up any. Okay, I'll just sing the first verse because that's what's entirely finished. So let's have some fun with this one. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. I could get a soundtrack going on for this one because I wanted to have fun with it. Okay. So I, I suppose you could say the lyrics were about forty-five percent complete when I was contacted unexpectedly. Let's do this. Okay. Dur -ka -dur -dur. Okay. I officially can now not hear you, so I'm going to start playing a little soundtrack and singing to it because I'm lame. All right. All right. <sighs> Let's do this, Shizzle Mizzle. Let's turn it up here. All right. Here we go. Me, 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 me. Over a year ago, James M.K. formed a team with Dark Natas to host the On Blast show. Every Tuesday, they'd broadcast a Skype call to discuss the FGC, its drama and pro hoes. <laughs> it was just so refreshing to listen to those down to earth fellas stand up and speak their minds. And I never believed that the podcast would ever be able to go on with just one guy. Hey, what? Was that the end? Over a year ago, James M.K. formed a team with Dark Natas to host the On Blast show. Every Tuesday, they'd broadcast 
a Skype call to discuss the FGC. It's drama and pro hoes. <laughs> uh, he's still going. <laughs> yeah. I can hear the music. Sometimes if there were guests on, Natas would never speak. Or speak <laughs> they may. But when I heard the latest word saying he had to leave, I had some kind of mighty urge to say, You pussied out. <laughs> <laughs> Still think that you pussied out, you pussied out, and when you leave, we will not chase you. One of us can replace you. You always said to of I, yeah, I, I kind of got lost around. Oh my god! First, been all like how like hey, you always tell us the gaming can't support us. You got to get a nine to five, and then I'm kind of like. Yeah, man, but at oh, uh, what cost, man? I don't, I don't want to do that shit if it means I can't hang out with my bros on the stream, etc., 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 being a whiny bitch about it because emo music, whatever. And I'm going to turn the music back on, or the sound. Oh, my God. Putting my headphones back on. My, my eyes are watery as hell. Making him cry, see? Oh, my God. I started choking on my cigarette from laughing so fucking hard. Good. Oh my god. You pussy. That was so fucking funny. If only you let if only you were staying on later so I could actually finish the song, you would have cried so hard. You, you know what? We'll do, we'll, we'll do this. We'll do this. I'm going to let you finish the song and oh then I'm going to I'm going to bring you back in tonight Natus, I'm going to give you this last file. Okay. And then this way you can hear your 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 final adieu song. Eh, actually fuck that. I don't want to do that anymore. I are, it's ruined. It's ruined? Yeah, man. I, I sang it when it wasn't done yet, man. You ruined the artistic integrity. I can't do this anymore. So bring it to a rap, man. Change it up. Oh, my God. Change it into a rap. <sighs> Come on, you're and... the original African-American. I'm not the original, but I am pretty authentic. Okay, authentic. The authentic African-American. You have some what is... spitting skills. So, but, so what is this show even going to be about now that... Dark Natas is totally pussied out and is leaving us all? Um, it's still going to stay the same format. You know, I mean, I'm going to start bringing in other guests. And I, like I said, I got the, <coughs> the athletes from Mortal Kombat Legacy lined up to start coming on. Um, you know, we're obviously going to do the usual. Nothing's going to change except, you know, I'm going to be bringing in co-hosts, maybe like yourself one night, you know, because I know you have a few choice words, I'm sure, for CD Jr. Um, oh, my. Yes. So, you know, um, I'll bring in co-hosts and, you know, we'll, we'll take it from there. Um, <clears throat> I'm in talks with Crystal Cage about having her co-host the show as a permanent fixture as well. And then we're going to be bringing in a second co-host, uh, co-host to co-host. <clears throat> so, just make sure, I'm still here. Just make sure that Triforce isn't a co-host because he would become the main host and there would be no guests allowed to talk. Uh, yeah, t yes, Eddie Munster, uh, I've, I've actually spoken to Tagawa, he's going to probably be coming on soon too as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's, nothing's going to change, you know, the only thing is, you know, Natus, you're not going to hear him smoking and coughing in the background and, you know, he's, yeah. you're not going to... That was also, that was also going to be the point of the song of how, yeah, he totally never even said anything, but we're still going to miss him anyway. <laughs> But anyway, listen, Natus, I'm not going to fuck you. I know you got to get up. My yes, ass, yes. My ass is on fucking drugs and beer, so I don't have to get up for shit. <clears throat> All right, guys. I'm out. Thank you again. And uh, that's it. <laughs> All right. Bye. All right, man. All right. Let's bring in. And he was never heard from again. And he was gone. All right, let's start bringing in some folks here. Let's bring them in. Let's bring them in. Let's bring in the troops. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, here comes the truth. 
Yo, what's up, guys? What's going on? What's going on? Not much. What you thinking? What's up, James? What's up, man? Hi, what's up, man? So, Natus is no more. So, what it's you take away my Natus? What's that? Take it out. Take it out. Take away my Natus. Hey, you know, I'm not <laughs> taking him away. His job's taking him away. Why you leaving, Natus? <laughs> He, already, he gone, he man. Gone he already. gone. He already he gone. gone. That was it. Just like the wind. <laughs> we know where you live. Blood in, blood out, motherfucker. <laughs> we can see you real soon at your job. <laughs> you don't look at us, fool. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. That's, okay. That's, okay. that's okay, little puppet. Limbo <laughs> dog, Natus, fuck you. <laughs> okay, Natus got a new job. Nigga, get a new job. Just forget all his friends. I yeah, bet you he played no, the Jefferson no, song no, and shit. He was like, Moving it was like, up. Yo, Natus. Yo, he was like, Natus. Um, we 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 figured we we'll, we would give you manager status. They just <laughs> wake up. <laughs> He's like, I, I had a web show. Fuck those guys. I had a friend, my, my friend James. Fuck him too. He is now a fry cook. Ain't that some shit? All right, Natus, my man, McDonald's. All right. <laughs> dreams can come. True. I think dreams can come true. So what's up, man? So is he gonna still like even like chill with y'all? Is he still gonna like be? You know, at least communicating. Yeah, with yeah, 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 yeah. We're not, you know, we're not oh. totally separating. He's gonna come on from time to time. But He's getting a okay. divorce. They're getting a divorce. My fuck. I you know? Yo, I can't Are believe. I can't. Are you getting the kids, my brother? I can't. Be <laughs> I can't believe my fucking wife just served me with fucking a restraining order at ten o'clock at night from a sheriff. You know what's funny? You got a restraining order and you just had surgery. What the fuck are you gonna do? <laughs> you gonna wreck, dude? You just had like surgery, major surgery. Like, what you think you gonna do? Wheel over there and throw a brick at her house? Oh hell yeah! <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, hey, didn't you say she left the country or something? No, she's in she's in Queens oh, now. Wow. Oh. oh shit, that's Damn, too far away. Scared. See that scared? Yeah. Well, you know, I have a set of skills, and apparently they're so <laughs> valid that you know, even when I'm incapacitated, I manage to be able to get things done. I don't know. It's amazing. <laughs> That's what she said. Exactly. So the bitch that smothered a puppy and made that nigga disappear is scared of you that just had surgery? <laughs> exactly. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Yeah, like she murdered animals without no fucking remorse. And then all of a sudden, oh my God, I need a restraining order. So that shit crazy. So, talk about this injustice bash. Hey, this is for truth. Mm. <laughs> Beans don't burn in the kitchen. He was yo, he was Spanish too, so it took him double. <laughs> <laughs> it took him nine months to realize he spoke English. <laughs> That's what's up though, man. Damn, everybody's coming up in FGC. Fucking like Natus, new job. You know, Noel Brown trying to be relevant again. <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't have to try. He doesn't. That motherfucker wasn't. Yeah, he was still trying to be relevant in the first time. <laughs> now now yeah. he needs like good times. Yo, you know what I know? Yo, like my homeboy showed me this on Facebook. I didn't yeah. know that. I didn't know that. Like back in the day, you could say the N word on fucking screen because the Jeffersons. Yo, Wheezy. Oh yeah. Wait, like, whoa, whoa, whoa! I, not I, even I, Wheezy. Yeah. Wheezy and fucking uh, the white dude. The white dude. The white. Yeah. The white dude called fucking and Jefferson George. one. George one once. I didn't know you could say that on TV, yo. Like when I was a young boy, I was like, yo, Jeffersons. All right. I'm like, oh shit. They said, nigga, for real? That wasn't no yeah. like Photoshop. Like that, that wasn't no, like YouTube trickery. They didn't Photoshop. They photoshopped away, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Photoshop, nigga. Like, like, no, like, like, like old bat, like the old Batman thing. It would just come up with a big bubble, nigga. But on to business, for real, man. That I saw the uh, the stream, and after the stream, I talked to James a little bit about it. it looked that bad. Black Adam was still doing like 42, 49 percent, yo. No, Black Adam is still retarded. Yeah, he was still doing 49 percent, easy. It's just you Straight can catch them faster now. That's all that happened. They just ain't that nigga catch them faster. Fall they ain't mechanics. They, no, they, they just fuck the fall mechanics, so you can't do all the reset trickery anymore, yo. No, but they added some more bullshit now. Now you got a hard knockdown with them, and now you yo. do like this crossover dive kick shit. Now it's like, what? So y'all just say y'all gonna hurt I'm, him. 
I mean, they fixed. I mean, I mean they yeah, they they uh, fixed his other stuff, but then added a hard knockdown, but didn't fix his jumping too. So and you know now these niggas found <laughs> a fucking fifty percent with Superman now, right? Yeah, and on yeah on stream he was like Superman, we tried to make a little more fair about it, and then and then everyone's like he's still doing the same damage. No, they found one meterless now. Holy shit! Yeah, Yo, did you see uh, the Zod shit? The, well, the Zod shit for the uh, for the uh, video. Remember that little like um, the little costume video shit that was done with the new pack. Yeah, that was the new pack stuff because Zod got like two wall bounces off of a fucking combo, and the third one just knocks him down, just as um hard knockdown now. Nigga Zod. Now, now listen, guys, uh, in, in the chat, like I'm mentioning about the wife thing. Um, hey, hey, look, you know what? She killed a puppy, got knocked up by the guy. She killed the fucking guy's dog. <laughs> That's some straight up poison ivy type shit. What? She Dripping. killed the guy, she killed the guy's, uh, you know, here she is running off a list. We'll just run off the list of my, my sexual and perversion deviance that I like to do. Again, because I, I really, um, I find this fucking kind of fucking amazing the respondent committed the following family offenses against me and or my children which constitute attempted assault first of all bitch God, first, of, well, well, first of all if i was going to assault you there wouldn't be an attempt then of course this assault in the second or third degree they don't know which aggravated harassment in the second harassment in the first or second disorderly conduct Menacing in the second or third, reckless endangerment, stalking, criminal mischief. This is the good one. Sexual abuse in the second or third degree. I ain't the motherfucker that got your bitch ass pregnant. So it's kind of hard to sexually abuse you. He, he is not the father. Um, and you know what's fucked up? Sexual misconduct, forcible, forcible touching. A criminal obstruction. Well, this is the best one. A criminal obstruction of breathing or circulation. What? Basically, they're saying I choked the bitch. Oh. Oh, you, you was using that David Carradine shit, yo? <laughs> yo, using that David Carradine shit? <laughs> Apparently. Damn, James. Damn, James. 1 800 choke a hoe. Yo, I wonder if that's choke an actual. That. Yo, you know what? <laughs> Check this. Check this. <laughs> I'm going to try that number. No, I'm talking about Jane Fink. Yeah. You choke that hoe. You grab her. Well, then, and you gotta hold him. Choke that. And you gotta choke that hoe. You gotta, you gotta choke him, James. Yeah, you gotta yeah, grab him. Yeah. You gotta choke that bitch. Choke. Well, then, <laughs> choke, choke that, that hoe. Choke that well, then, hoe. <laughs> choke that hoe. So, wait. This, this, this is all oh. what your wife blamed you for? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right, man, that's great. Let's see. Hold on a second. I'm gonna try this right now. Let's see what we got. This call Peter on ass, yeah. Your call cannot be completed uh, as entered. Oh, uh, sorry. Choke the hoe don't work. Tried it though, but yeah. So I mean, basically, in a nutshell, it's going to be an ugly, ugly ass court case because now, apparently, um, from what I'm hearing, she pissed somebody else off who told the guy that was supposedly pregnant or, or supposedly got her pregnant um, about the dog. So now he's going to court to, to get her arrested for killing the dog. And he don't want nothing to do with her. And on top of that, he's saying that kid ain't mine either. Ooh. Man, would you want to? You would you want to do something? You you can't kill a man dog and think he's still cool with you, man. That's like <laughs> you you can't kill a man dog to be like yo no. yo we still friends, right? Nah, you won't. Nah, that's not cool. No, nah, so, so she's suing you. She's suing you for all these uh assault. Oh, she put, a, well, she put a restraining order out on me saying she's afraid. Okay. So, but uh, you can, but or, look, this is what you do. You honor the restraining order, and then when she says she is, she's like afraid, you can then reiterate to the police that you haven't seen that bitch in like months. So it makes so it makes the restraining order kind of null and void. Yeah, it's kind of like when you use a restraining order to get out of like a lease. Like if you want to like move on somebody, you just be, like easiest way you want to get out of paying rent, like like live with somebody, get a restraining order on them. And you can <laughs> you can immediately move rent free. Wow, that's good to know. Yes. They're, not renewing yep. my, they're not renewing my lease here, so. 
if you put a, if you put a restraining order on the person that you live with, you they have to immediately separate y'all, and that means that you gotta just leave. And and if you just and and, and if they say you gotta pay you gotta pay rent, you go nah, dog. Restraining order. I was unable to even live here, so sorry. And they just gotta catch that L. I mean, this is, this is you know what this is. This is this is this is the leading precedence for a divorce, and Damn. some jerk off lawyer that. You know, basically said like, "Well, we got to blow everything up out of proportion," and he's yeah. gonna come off like a jerk off because the girl who uh, had actually told me that Tatiana had confessed to killing the dog is like, "You know, I'm testifying for you, right?" I'm like, "Okay." He's like, "Yo, me and you, man. I'm telling you right now, man. We're gonna avenge my dog." Me and you, dog. Well, no, I haven't spoken. I haven't spoken to him. I still hate him with a passion, but I didn't hate his dog. Hey, I didn't hate his Come dog. On, yeah, he, but I didn't hate his dog. dog. I didn't hate his. I mean, I wanted hey, to. I wanted to kill him. Dog, I wanted to don't kill. I wanted to kill his ass, but his dog did. I mean, oh. unless they were into bestiality, then maybe. But I mean, whoa, his dog, what the fuck? Never, dude, you can't hate a man, dog. You can't hate a man, dog. Man, man that dog ain't do nothing. I mean, if that I mean, dog, that, if that dog was hitting that, I got to be mad at him. But, you know, that's some German ass shit. Hey, don't even get mad at the dog for fucking. Don't hate the player, nigga. Hate the game. Yeah, I do hate the game. And I can't, you can't even, hate that dog. I can't even jerk off, dudes. You know what I mean? What you can't, I can't jerk off because I mean, of the surgery. Oh, but I'm saying, though, man. I said, you know, what the fuck? I'm going to be hate that, but. But here's the deal, though. You can't hate the dog. He's looking at the dog fucking. He's like, yo, nigga, patch notes. You know what I mean? He's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Patch okay. notes. Okay, well, okay, my right Well, one of the things, this is the funniest part, because she put me in about 50 grand in debt. So she said, she said he's asking me for $25,000 to sign the divorce papers, and he has hired two people to follow me. I, apparently, I got people following her. First of all, one nigga in New York that don't live in Manhattan got enough money to be hiring motherfuckers to follow insignificant-ass bitches. Exactly. I didn't... I'm just saying, I mean... Don't get me wrong. No disrespect on your ex lady, but it's something that we need to learn as ghetto people. We are not that fucking important. Like real talk, we are not that important to have people go, "Yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay you and you $150 an hour to follow this chicken head bitch." Now, <laughs> if you happen to see her, go to any of these places. Please join. Store. Woo! Oh That's shit, fine. we done went to a wind tunnel. Brian's going through time and space again. Hey, Brian, I'm going to send you a message. Hold on a second. Where what happened? You? Somebody wants to play you in JoJo. Oh, my. In jo but I'm playing Tekken Revolution right now. Uh, yeah, and get honestly, five minutes. hey, hey, in all honesty, in Brian's defense, if he loses once, all those tickets are gone. Fuck that. <laughs> like, yo, that shit, yo, losing them tickets, that shit changes lives, dude. He has to yeah. You, yeah, you don't want to lose on some nutball shit and then lose all your fucking dumb tickets, yo. That's that. Is Whatever. Bullshit. I'm just gonna play JoJo's with this broski. Hey, I got that game. I'll play. I'm pretty good. Yay, me! Hey, I, like, oh, I actually like Tekken. I just haven't. Dude, had a they patched it. The, they patched the shit. Tekken. Dude, they patched the shot of JoJo's Bizarre. Yo, they te they oh, they patched the shot that game. They man, it's still bad. I've never seen. It's still yeah. It's like, awful, and I love it. It, it, it is. Doesn't it just take you back to the days of, like, crazy, shitty import PS2 fighters? It reminds me of the first Naruto game. Where it was, oh, like, Lord. obscene. It was like, it was like, no, I mean, not in the in the terms of gameplay, where it was like, some dudes were just obscenely stupid, broken, but you could respect that shit. <laughs> you were just like, okay, whatever. Which That's how JoJo is. It? Was it, like, that first one where they had, like, the ridiculous-ass, um, what was it, Sazuke? Where if you picked him, it was just so broken, busted, stupid that people just respected you for fucking playing. It's like, yo, at least, at least you're playing the game. You are wrong. Game, you are know legit wrong right now. Like, I don't play a fucking game. Of course I'm legit wrong, dumbass. I just told you that. <laughs> I don't know which one. Yeah, I don't whichever know. One you're yeah. Whichever one you're talking about, I know I'm right because I play it. Nah, nigga, but fuck that though. Think Rock character, that nigga shit. Hold on, fuck that though. Internet. Rockstar gotta fix they shit, man. I've been waiting all my fucking day. Why are y'all bitching? I, I heard that shit's been right. fucking really busted. Yeah, it's been but, yeah, but Microsoft been all willy-nilly playing and shit. Meanwhile, Sony get left in the fucking dust. Tired of this dude, shit. Dude, 
Y'all should have known this shit was gonna happen. This happens in every. I know, game. but I mean, game, damn. You know? At least Microsoft get the chance to fucking play. Days, dude. Days one, two, and three are gonna be bad. You know, days one, two, and three are gonna be the worst experience you're ever gonna have because they just trying to get shit ready. Yeah. Shit, they should rest. Those, but damn, they showing more love to Microsoft than Sony though. That's what I'm saying. They like, oh, I just find it. Money. I just find it weird <laughs> that like. I just find it weird that like they made over a billion dollars on this game. You couldn't use any of that money to like get some server maintenance ahead of time. That would require, they did but it's really not game. even Rockstar. It's Sony and Microsoft it's Rockstar, itself. And Microsoft. It, it's more. It's more Rockstar. It is more Rockstar. Rockstar could easily put the money up and put the and, and, and put they money could, into the service and have more dedicated service. Yeah, you got a billion dollars. Yeah, I mean, Jesus Christ, don't be that. I mean, hey, I'm all for greed, but don't be that greedy. I mean, it costs you what. Three hundred million to make, and you quadrupled that and shit. Spend a couple of bucks. Spend a couple of. Well, bucks. Microsoft is shit for these. Microsoft is shit, not the shit. It's shit. They be duping y'all niggas and thinking they got godlike shit when y'all don't even do the research specs on your damn consoles. But what do I know? I don't. I just do my research and shit. Whatever. That's what's up. That's what's up. I don't know. I'm just saying that you know, in a game of complete dumb shit and niggerdom, I don't expect anything good out of it, even when it does work, but people did pay 60 bucks for this game. It needs to work. <laughs> they had like a month to do this shit or whatever, so I think that days 1, 2, and 3 are going to be bad. It's It'll 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 pick up. It'll yeah, pick thank up. God I got Battlefield 4 beta and NBA 2K14, so... I don't play... Actually, I, I don't, beyond, I don't, uh, I don't play Souls basketball. Game, it's nice. No, but Battlefield but yo, how about that? consoles are like ass. Ugh. Yeah, that's why but I yo, just play Battlefield on PC. I just play on PC. Yo, man. How about that motherfucking Mortal Kombat Legacy Season 2, son? Well, like I said, it was man, all right. Yeah, it was all right. It was good. It was hey. good. It was good. It left me wanting more, which is really yeah. I do like Casper. I do like Casper Van Dien as Johnny Cage, man. He acted like everybody else was going to act. You look at this ninja chick and you hitting on her. Do you see she has eight rows of teeth? You out the door. You gone. You run, said, running. No, you I like that shit. He said, "Fuck yo, that." I'm out. <laughs> the side came from that. First she was like, like Fuck yo. That. I mean, I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna be bringing all of these guys on. That'd be uh, awesome. Um, I already, like I said, I already spoke with Molina and Katana. So, but that episode, like I said, is going to have to conflict with Wednesday night fights because one of them, uh, Sam, oh, Sam, oh, oh. Sammy Joe, uh, has to. Uh, her Tuesdays Katana. are booked. Her Tuesdays are always booked, and Michelle is previously or well, currently shooting uh, Transformers Four. So, what? Yeah. Transformers, Nick. Nice, man. Nice, nice, nice. Even though Mark Wahlberg is the lead, but... Mm, how we Wait a minute. What? Mark Wahlberg yep. is the lead. Mm-hmm. And Michael Bay is still directing, so... Mm-hmm. So, lots of explosions. I don't care. Wait, didn't Michael Bay do Pain and Gain? Yeah. Pain and Gain was oh, wait, it's gonna be, uh, Yeah, Pain and Gain off the hook, so I don't, I don't really, like, worry Rock that much. Rock had the best line of 2012, man. The Lord has blessed me with many talents, many talents and abilities. And what he's to knock people off. Fuck out. <laughs> Pepe, do not make me do this again. <laughs> No, when he hit that boy, Pepe, you must understand the Lord has given me many talents, one of which is knocking people, the, people the fuck, the fuck out. out. <laughs> what'd you guys yeah. what'd you guys think of the portrayal of Liu Kang though? He went oh, all Drake man. mode because his bitch died. I'm sorry. I was calling Liu hey, Kang. Man. Come on now. You, you, yeah. you can't be mad. Your, your woman just died, like Yo, yeah, but he already killed the niggas that already got it. He already, but he went to Drake yeah. overtime. Yeah, he already killed him. Yeah, he's been killed. But if you put lightning bolts on his hoodie, though, he looked just like Jin Kazama from fucking Tekken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he, was, you put, like, he, he, was, he had the Jin hookup. I was like, what the fuck? He has a leather hoodie? Like Jin from Tekken? Yeah, he was definitely looking Jin like. I do, I, I, like I said, I like Johnny Cage because Johnny Cage is like my favorite character, but Johnny Cage, Casper Van Dien, people were, people were bitching about it, but I was like, yo, Johnny Cage is a Hollywood douchebag. Casper Van Dien is a Hollywood douchebag. It, it worked. Dude, I, I laughed every time no. Johnny Cage was on the screen. Johnny Cage made no. that show for me. I he think the just, best portrayal of any character was Kenshi. Yeah. Quantum Ranger was getting money. But, 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 I'm, but, I'm, money. but, I'm, but I'm trying to figure out what mm-hmm. the fuck is that, Ermac? 
Yeah, that Ermac was kind of weak as hell. He was like, basically a de- he was basically a demon. Compo- well, they had to figure out something because did Ermac ever actually have a solid backstory other than? Yeah, he, just, he did. He just, it was like it was the fact that it was one of Shang Tsung's experiments that Shao Kahn pre-made and was like, look, we're uh-huh. gonna fill this nigga up with all these souls and make the ultimate warrior. Yeah. Let's do this it. Ultimate but then in Mortal Kombat the game, he was comprised of like many really shitty soldiers. Nah, <laughs> and, <laughs> and then of course Kung Lao with his fucking his reed paper hat wasn't I wasn't thinking. Now that. you know Mark DeCascos has always been one of those weird type of casting dudes. Like Mark is good on his own, but as other but as like more like Mark is good on his own. But Mark as Kung Lao made no sense. But then yeah, he, he went to the actual up. world and he looked pretty alright. Like before no. he became Kung Lao, Kung Lao was kind of yeah. I wasn't feeling that, yo. No, but I hate what they did with Sub Zero though. Yeah, like, I was kind of like that was like that that was like Star Trek yeah, where they did the reversal for the last movie with yeah. like Spock yeah. dying. I'm like, really, Sub Zero head and spine Guys, ripped leave. out. Y'all leave paintball Sub Zero alone. No, 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 no. I'm talking about how they killed both of them. Yeah, yeah, they're both good. Yeah, they're both dead yeah. now. I'm like, what the fuck? So then, what the fuck is gonna happen next season when? Well, he becomes Noob he becomes noob. But Ooh, where's uh, the other sub though? That's what well, I'm saying. Which one? You don't know if he's well, dead. Well, the first sub actually died legit. His little brother is the one that got screwed. So yeah, he's gonna be noob. So why, why she gonna pull yeah. some bullshit where both of them are noob? Like both but of them they are can. No, but, but they, they can because he can split up. One is one, one is new, the other is Cybot. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. the one no, they can't because the, the that Sub Zero died legit. He died in actual combat that he caused. Yeah, the people. other one died from the other Scorpion. One got cut him up. Yeah, so he has a reason to pay back Scorpion now. And this is a new Cybot. No, 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 like, no, 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 no. You ain't watched the episode, nigga. Kwai Lang dead. The, yeah, but Kwai Lang died in battle. Like Kwai no, Lang died in battle. Right? He didn't die. He died when he jumped him when he was scorpion with his family. That's why Sub was mad. He was like, "Yo, okay. why'd you kill my brother?" Okay. Yeah. So they're both dead. And they both got tricked by Shanks. <laughs> no, right, Kwai I'll, Lang I'll just tell you guys. Tell you guys right now that if Mortal Kombat Legacy doesn't have mm-hmm. Zombie Liu Kang, I'm not gonna watch it. I don't Liu know, Kang man. Ain't Fast- dead. Yeah, Fast and Furious Liu Kang. Like, right, like, right now, Fast and Furious Liu Kang. Wolverine Liu Kang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Wolverine Liu Kang. I'm just saying, like, eventually, he better be zombie Liu Kang. I like Striker, too. Striker, Striker kind of, oh, yeah. He did Striker dirty, though. I'm Striker. sorry. No, come on, dude. What, what the fuck? Striker. They were like, he, everybody has a special gift. Like, what's your gift? They ain't saying nothing about Striker. I'm just saying. Like, they were like, and <laughs> everybody has a special gift. Oh, yeah, and, 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 and we, and we yeah, we so like everybody got special powers, and we got Striker <laughs> with a taser. <laughs> He's Johnny, the low tier oh, hero Cage got, the show. Johnny Cage got speed. Sub Zero already knew his. Sub Zero was just like, "We got powers, bitch. Come on, let's go." <laughs> He's like, man, I don't, I don't got no time. He's like, fuck that shit, nigga. We out, man. Let's go. Hurry. I mean, compared to, to the first one, I, I would say compared to the first one, they didn't lose much in the way of star power. I mean, switching out Michael Jai White for Casper Van Dien and, you know, getting... They should have had you know, Jackson though. It would have been better. Well, Michael Jai White right now, he, he's um, doing something. Yeah. Otherwise, he probably would do it. Because he, he said he loved being Jax from Mortal Kombat. Shit, he, he saw Michael Jai White playing too. Justice, nigga. Michael yeah, Jai White plays in Justice. I think they should just go straight to the movie from here. They should just... Nah, but the man, movie different I from wish. Legacy, though. They already, they already stated it's different they're from ready, Legacy. Yeah. Yeah, oh, Legacy is a more realistic approach. That's why, like, each of the guy, you know, like, they try to take a more realistic approach to the Mortal Kombat world. That's why Ermac looks like a monster demon thing. He and looks like the why... Emperor from Star Wars. Yeah. He looks nah, like really but the thing is, though, the movie going to tie in with the next game. So when the next game gets announced, that's when the movie trailer going to go up. I want to know who's going to be Shinnok, my brother. Shinnok. I want to see Shinnok. It's my boy. Shinnok is that man. man. They made him sound like so nasally and shit. And the ending, I was like, for real, they gonna do Shinnok like that? I love like, Shinnok. You know, weak ass nigga. Dude, he steps on your neck, then jumps on your stomach. That is the best throw in the fucking game. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I mean, so far, I would say props to Mortal Kombat Legacy for giving us for like giving us the entire season in one shot, though. 
I know. I, I watched that all in one day. I watched the whole thing. Yeah, I watched the whole thing in one day too. And then I watched the uh, I watched the uh, when they were playing the uh, Mortal, like the uh, after it's it's like a stream that they did after the uh, Mortal Kombat Legacy a live show, and they're playing Mortal Kombat and everything. But there, he do gave away a couple things for like the next Mortal Kombat you know deal. But he never gave a title though. They said they work with Ed Boon with it, so I guess Boon is working with him on all, already on the next one. So yo, check this out. This is this is. This is huh. Flash Gordon from nineteen like eighty when I saw it in the theater. This Yo, is did you, this did is flash? this is this is this is fucking this is literally fucking uh Oh yeah Ermac. Ermac. James pulling out the fucking This is this is Ermac right here. The antiques and shit. This is this is Ermac right here. That's wrong. Here we go. It's the face to face to watch this. Uh, eyeballs. Flash, uh, saves every one of us. <laughs> That's my joint, man. Yo, yo, did you, did you remember Flash Gordon in uh in uh Ted, yo? <laughs> oh my God. It's like you're Flash Gordon. Hey, what's up? What is some coke? <laughs> she was like, nah, man. Like, um, I had some before I left. He's like, you sure? It's fucking amazing. You can do it on my bicep. <laughs> he was like, nah. I'm like, yo, do it on my bicep. Like, wait a minute. This is, this is Flash Gordon. We could do glow with Flash, Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon. <laughs> like he's the fucking savior of the universe. We gotta do glow with him. That was a great movie too, man. That was like my 80s, yeah. one of my 80, 80s all-time favorite. Oh right up there with, with, with Escape from New York. Damn, you, you, you Escape didn't like from Conan? New York. You didn't like Conan, James? You wasn't a Conan fan? Nah, I mean, I dug it for, you know, I watched it, but... It didn't every make time me wow. Conan, I watch that shit. Every time Conan comes on, I watch both movies back to back, yo. Dude. Conan. Red Sonya. Red Sonya. The new Dang. one got on my nerves, though. Even though he didn't knock out horses and shit. The new one was bad, yo. The new one was terrible. Yeah, I watched Arnold, the shit. Yo, Arnold's movies. coming back for a new one. Was yo, it King what? Conan or something like that? King Conan. <laughs> King Conan. No, it is. It's actually called King Conan. It's like he's older. It's and he's like, Yeah. Just but I mean, like this nigga Stallone came back for that Rambo movie. Hey, that Rambo, yo, did you not see the way he grabbed that little Asian dude and cut his fucking head off with a machete? Yeah, like Rambo that was, was like double that dude's side. He grabbed him by the back of his hair. I was like, holy shit! Yo, man, I'll, I'll say, off. I'll say this about Stallone. He ended both Rocky and fucking Rambo. Hopefully, he don't ever do they another one again. Great no, endings for great. for for good yeah. movies gone to dick to to great closings. I mean, Rocky Balboa was good because he lost, and everybody got pissed off. He's like, dude, there's no way in hell Rocky at that age. Because he, even he said, there's no way in hell Rocky at that age could beat a Bro, young, talented man. boxer. He was like, there was no way that shit was going to work. He was like, I know y'all wanted him to win, but come on now. Well, yeah, that's real. Shit well when, you buy the, wait, when you buy the DVD version, they have the version where he wins and then where he draws and loses. Serious? Yeah. Oh, even though he had the dumbest name as a black man ever, Mason Dixon. Mason like, nigga, Dixon. are you serious? <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't cross the Mason Dixon line. The line. They call him Mason Dixon the line. <laughs> I was like, yo, having a dude, a black dude named Mason fucking Dixon. I was like, all that's missing is his dad is actually white. I, I, I don't even know, man. That was like the worst name for a so Stallone, mother, Yeah, know? Stallone directed The Expendables, too, and like all the characters in The Expendables will have like really stupid names. All the characters in The Expendables Yo, were it's... fucking amazing, though. You know, <laughs> I, got the, I, got the movie si I got the movie sitting. I haven't watched it yet. Yo, Van Damme in Expendables was actually good. That dude scared the shit out of me. Like, Van, like what happens if you give Van yeah. Damme like, 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 like his own drug cartel and like a big line of coke? You would get that Van Damme in like Expendables for real, yo. <laughs> I, I actually, I actually, real? I I'm actually, here everybody, dog. I actually talked to him about how did they get Wesley? How the fuck did they get Wesley Snipes? How did they get Snipes, yo? Mm. Cause Snipes, I know he, he his his time Snipes, is up. Right? Snipes got out of jail and he's like, yo, what the fuck am I gonna do? Didn't he move to Europe? Yeah, he's in. He, no, he, he moved first moved to Europe for tax evasion for the tax evasion situation. Then they caught him over there or something like that, and then they brought nah. him back. He did nah, the time. he turned himself in. He no, he had a movie to do. Remember that bullshit movie Gallo Walkers? He had to do that, and they took the money for that to pay for his. That shit didn't even get released. It got released. Mm. I took that shit, but it got released, yo. That shit was terrible. Oh, and it's a shame because as Blade, that was like his best role next to like Nino Brown, Blade, yo. Oh yeah, he gonna do Blade again. He doing Blade. Yo, he's oh, done. Some, he's done some wacky ass shit. What was that movie he did where he was the where he was the tow truck driver? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you bring it up, 
Yeah, yeah. What was that other one, the gangster one, where like he was like a gangster, Brooklyn's like finest. coming to Brooklyn's finest, yeah, Brooklyn's finest. with uh, Don Cheadle. And then they shot him up. Man. And they shot him up halfway through the movie. I was like, yeah. word. He was like, yo, man, it's good to be back. Yeah, I'm back. Back, back, back. <laughs> Hold on a sec. On a serious note, Dark Lurker, uh, I spoke to it's Richard's like- mom. Uh, the funeral went well, she said. And oh, again, and, and again, she you know she thanks everybody right. that fucking helped out. She said you know uh, she never realized that the FGC could go so far above and beyond. Um, as far as uh, the little swaggy stuff that I'm going to give away, like I said, I got the list of people that donated. I'm going to get them get it from Larry and uh, from her, and then I'll get the names and I'll start contacting guys to get stuff out to you guys. Obviously, um, you know it ain't much. It's just you know whatever little. Knickknacks I got. I mean, I don't know who wants an autographed copy of Mortal Kombat One by yours truly, but uh, I do. You know, that's uh, yeah, that's actually a rarity. I actually only I've only done about like five or six of them in the last couple of months. So I don't. I'm not like you know. I don't have people knocking down my door saying, "Give me autographs." So give me one, James. I'm gonna autograph your fucking. Hey yo, man, man, sign my socks, dude. Sign my socks. I need them James James Fink socks. Come on. Come on. I'll get you some OBS socks. It's coming. Oh, yo, if I get some OBS sick. socks, that give him the double may spy and he put lights on them shits. Yo. <laughs> I'll be banging <laughs> some OBS socks, nigga. You know, I actually, it's funny. I uh, I gotta talk to Devil May Spy um, because of his idea for his jacket. I started to do research because I was uh, I was teaching a uh, a member of the community, which Kelvin, by the way, you're supposed to you're gonna have to start making trips out to hit to the island. Who, me? Yeah. To do what? To because I'm now giving classes on voice and data. Oh, sick. Um, and I'm teaching one guy now. I got another guy that I'll be teaching. Um, and I was basically going through fiber optics, and I'm going, you know, he would be so much. It would be so much better to do fiber because. A, the light better. B, it won't use as much battery power. So we won't have to fucking change his batteries like every week. He can get one of those lithiums and that's it. It's done. No, it's not bad. Yeah. Shit, James, you ain't even tell me about that. I just, I literally, I literally just taught him today. So it was just today that, you know, because I've been trying to find this guy a job and I've uh, been digging around. And, uh, you know, the one thing didn't work out. So now I'm going to pretty much get him in doing what I do. That'd be great, man. I, I fucking I'm tired of the security shit. <laughs> shit, this shit makes me nobody. They, Single I'm, more. You want me to sign a copy hey, hold of Logic? You giving out jobs, dude? Hey, what you got in dope? <laughs> no, I mean, let me go ahead and sling that, dude. What you, what, what I you mean, got in dope? I mean, niggas. It, well, you're I mean, breaking bad. Well, you're over, down, man. You're we down in like, that back, dude. Where were you? You're down, down in like the KC. KC you're down in like where? The KC area, right? Dude, I'm in KCMO. Downtown niggas how's smoke crack. How much? How much? How's the meth business down there? We can hook meth going. In KC, honestly, in KC, there's like no meth, and like in but in like Independence, Missouri, and shit like that, and like outside of there, and like in the Kansas side of like um KC, it's ridiculous. Crack should be going out there for like about what thirty like gram, thirty eight gram. Nah, I don't know. Forty, about thirty to forty gram should be. And then, yeah, I don't want to get too much into that. Nigga, you already have. Fans <laughs> is watching. Like, is I'm just saying, is watching. Like, you know I mean, this nigga sitting there. I, 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 yeah. I'm just saying what I hear on Breaking Bad. <laughs> yeah, I heard that on Breaking Bad. Fair, I heard that on Breaking Bad. Because it's a very. is watching. That's all I got to say. Yes. Fans is watching. Yeah. Get into the money. Where the fuck you been? Fans is watching. Kids are probably right now playing oh, GTA. Man, my birthday is this week, too. I'm fucking hyped. I'm going to get it. Oh, that's what's up. No, I mean I'm not supposed to be drinking with my uh Yeah, happy birthday oh, you. Man, don't be yeah, my shit's on on Saturday, so don't be drinking, man. Too yeah, late. James. Too late. Don't be drink James, you can't be drinking, uh, nigga. You can't be drinking that shit, man. You don't you take uh medication? Vicodin. How you gonna take a Viking to do some man, you yo, you trying to die, dude. Yeah, you can't oh, mix some pills. You can't mix them together, yo. Hold on a second. I know you want that Rick James shit, but you can't be doing that, man. <laughs> even even fucking Rick wouldn't do that. <laughs> Yo, man. Damn, he's trying to. He said, "Go, gang's a hell of a drug, but I ain't gonna fuck that yourself, shit, nigga. nigga. You tripping? For real? That's coming from a dude who literally just sat and fucking smoked dope for a day. That nigga just locked himself in the house and smoked dope for a day. Yo, they actually hold on, hold on. They actually coming with another in the third versus Detective Conan movie. I am hyped. You're What's right. That? You're right. Wait, I got what? two Tic Tacs. <clears throat> 
<laughs> he said, "Come to Somerset and Kensington." Nigga, how about how about we just come to actual Philly, where there's actual black people? <laughs> come <laughs> to like, yo, come to the suburbs, son. We got the hair on. <laughs> <laughs> we'll meet you at the... All right. Okay, Clement, we got you, son. We're going to go ahead and meet you at the Jamba Juice, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Jamba Juice. We're going to keep it hood in fucking Kensington. Go to the I'm going to wait at the Jamba Juice. In the anime, what is this? I mean, yeah. Holy shit. Hey, real time, nigga said, come against the Philly, nigga. Wow. It's KDZ versus fucking Rico at the break grand finals. I'm done oh, with it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, folks. Hold on. Rico don't play no more. He quit. <laughs> oh, that can't, that can't Rico, Rico is a fraud. He quit. Nah, he didn't. He, he's still playing. Yeah, exactly. That is not our Rico. Screw that shit. I want to see. That's probably one of the highest twins. Fuck that he's shit. Everybody right now over there. That's one of the highest twins. You lying? Uh, let me guess. He's still, he, and let me guess. He's, he's using playing. Black Adam. Yeah, he's still playing Black Adam. <laughs> Oh my God! Play I'm never playing this game again. You know, well, I love, I love, I love Rico. I love CD. Like I listen. Yeah, I love I Rico. I love Rico, and I love, and I love CD Junior. You motherfuckers don't have a clue what it takes to make a game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Rico made that yeah, abundantly known. He does not fuck with the technical side of this. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> just, just play really the damn game. It. Just play the goddamn game and enjoy it. Yo, Yo, Yo but I'm also got some interesting shit now. Ooh. Yeah. Yo, what is with this this yeah this fucking anime? Son, this shit is too real right now. Oh, I need to I need to link to that shit, yo. Yeah. I know I'm fucking with it. Look at this look look look, look. Clement getting all mad. Yeah, I know. Think I used to live on Fifty Second and Chestnut. Shut the fuck up. Think I know Ken's in part of Philly. We just fucking with you, man. God damn, it makes cat. Yo, cats be getting real mad about like neighborhoods they don't ever own because them shit's been there since before their grandma was born. But yes, I know I'm messing with you, man. I used to live on Fifty Second and Chestnut. In West Philly, and it was really, really fun. Where the fuck, being, ha- like, where the fuck haven't you lived? Man, East Coast, man, everywhere. Cause like my mom's was like my mom's and me was in New York. My grandma was in Jersey, and in Philly, my cousin was there. So I so I moved in with him when like I, you know, got on my own and shit. So Fifty Second Street was good because you were like literally ten blocks down from the University Pinball, and if you went down Center City at the time, it was like four arcades there. Like three of which had like some of the better Mortal Kombat players in Philly, like Philly and Jersey. They used to come up there to play Mortal Kombat. When Ultimate came out, man, we we burned so much money on like, man, they had like thirty people playing that shit, yo. Thirty on on the weekends, it was like a, a consistent thirty to forty people playing Ultimate Mortal Kombat three. See, that's good. I mean, that's that's that's, 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 hard, yeah. that's you know that's what this scene needs is they need first of all. We need to drop a lot of this emoism, um, and we need to get back to the arcade feel without the arcade violence. Oh, Big George is still yo yo Clement is uh Big George is still over there next to the uh, Jamaican spot. Yo, that place has a cornbread. Yo, just eat the cornbread. <laughs> Niggas just going for the cornbread. Just going for the cornbread. That shit with yo Big George's. Oh, this is like a black. Yeah, con- it's like a. It's like, with, it's like a black conversation. I'm not part of this. With, uh, yes, it is, it is, it is. <laughs> Shit, I eat cornbread. Fuck that. You know, 40 Street. I used to work with um. Right, some dry ass on the Yeah, before Sean left and Big E got hired, I'm the one that got that talked to Billy and got Big E on with uh, and then I left to go to school and shit, and then it was just Mook and um, it was on um, Mook, Big E, and um, Sean's Kung Fu Boy. Yeah, when 40th Street was jumping, yo. We used to, man, like, I miss those days where it was like 30 or 40 cats and they were all good. They were all good players. And it was ridiculous because, I mean, you had, you had really good competition. At one point, man, I thought Philly was going to be a problem, yo. Like, for real. Like, that's how, I mean, that's how, that's how dedicated some of them cats were. But now, it's all, you know, you know, you Some like sports. fucking... Yeah, you yeah you 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 now like the uh, champion of your house. <laughs> so you a champion at your house, God damn. You got an old WWE like John Cena God belt that you can out the world in fucking Sharpie. I think I'm the world champ. See right, see right there, world champ. You just, you just <laughs> fucking spray paint on, on your fake plastic. <laughs> <laughs> you <a fucking> <laughs> is, is this thing on? 
Yes, it's on, Mr. 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 Webster. What's going on, sir? Hey, I mean, I mean, I just came out here to say a couple of things real quick, man. I, I bench pressed 300 pounds yesterday. I'm fucking happy. I'm fucking excited. Wait, bro. Bench press 300? Yeah, I'm a fucking beast now. Oh, hey, right, nigga. Lift. But, uh, lift. But, but let me tell you how this. Uh, I know, I know this is a podcast about Injustice New Patch and Grand Theft Auto. Uh, fuck both those games. Uh, fuck this patch. I'm glad it's out, so now y'all can shut the fuck up about this past game. It's time to talk about Mortal Kombat now. So you, you, hey. you, and hey. you can eat a dick. Hey. Fuck this game. <laughs> fuck Superman. Hey. Fuck Killer Frost. Fuck your patch, my patch, everybody's patch. Fuck your Grand Theft Auto Online. Fuck Fuck, hey. dig you. Hey, fuck, hey. Whoa, 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 fuck that. Let's talk about something hey, better. Man, wait, 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 wait. Let's oh, talk hey. about something no, much. Hey. Wait, guys, something much mm-hmm. more important. What we got? I want to look very dapper, so I am coming down to Joseph A. Bank. Uh oh. Well, we got uh, we got everyday low values on uh, suits and uh, suits separate. Because I will admit, you're looking quite fucking dapper in all those pics I see on Facebook all suited up. I, I, I like dressing classy. I'm the least classiest person I know. I'm very fucked up in the head. I'm very raunchy. Dude, I'm, I'm the epitome of white trash, but I love dressing up nice. Uh, I love dressing up nice. It, I, I feel very important, and I put on a business suit. So you mentioned that 300? Huh? Yeah, man. Yeah, that's that three, that three He's like, 300. He's like, oh. He's an old block, nigga. Just lifting them weights. Like, oh. Well, see, the thing is, is that, okay, first of all, fucking Smith Machine is fraudulent. If anyone says, oh, I'm lifting like 300, 350 on Smith Machine, fuck them. They are fucking frauds. All I'm doing 450 with beer cans, nigga. All day. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do that shit prison style. I get a fucking broom and some soup cans, nigga. This nigga <laughs> all day watching Mari and getting burnt up, nigga. Watching Mari burnt up all day. He turned up on, turned up on, turned up on that Mari, nigga. Uh, lifting soup cans in a bag, real nigga shit <laughs> all day in my room. The soup cans connected to your, <laughs> tied to your fingers and shit. <laughs> Wait, are you doing a straight, <clears throat> straight free bench, or are you doing you, you straight free benching it? Yeah, this is our free bench, man. Oh, fuck God, that, dude. Fuck that universal man. shit. Dude, I don't think my insurance covers that kind of workout, nigga. <laughs> For real, yeah. I'm doing, I'm doing one. I, I started working out again, so I'm doing one fifty off free bench. That nigga beat Jabaley. Remember how he put on Facebook that he was benching like two something? <laughs> <laughs> Jabaley was like, "Yo, I'm getting back in shape, man. I'm doing two something in the I gym mean, right now." I mean, blah, blah, blah. I'm not trying to get it twisted. Though. I mean, I lifted it once. It's not That's like a, I'm, it's max. It's a max. It's max. It's, not, it's a max. max. It's a max. So it's not like Nothing wrong with that. So that yeah, it's, for real. It's not, like right. I, it's not like I'm doing sets of three hundred five or whatever, but I, I did so one. Are you doing? Are you doing? Um, what's your what's your your your, your warm up? What's your warm up? My normal shit on a good day would probably be like two seventy five. Two seventy five. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel comfortable doing two twenty five, like doing reps of that shit, like reps, like sets of like uh, what is it? Reps of ten, sets of like five, two 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 twenty five. But on a really good day, I could probably do like set to like four, maybe maybe six to eight reps, two seventy. On on my absolute on my absolute best on my absolute best in my prime in high school, I maxed to like two thirty. That's it. That's fucking godlike. That's it. That was it. That was it. That was during, the end. that was the during end. my days. I did three twenty during my days when I went like I was on that. It's like that fitness shit with like my cousin. And then I turned 25, and I guess I, I just stopped giving a fuck. Nah, my, my, <laughs> my max I tested out with my, with my supervisor the other day, man. I pushed. I actually got to lift 245 off the okay. That's what's up. But see, here's, here's the fucked up thing. I ain't, I ain't bringing it down to the chest, though. That's, that's too much, nigga. Yeah, see, oh, yeah. It was down to it tapped the chest, lifted all the way up. And I, I said, I took the rack off. I set it back on my own, 305. I was happy. I was happy as fuck. That's but I can't shit. squat. I can't squat for shit. Oh, she squat. I was I was I, in four and change. I was squat four and change back in my heyday. And I know what y'all think, especially Trey Pound. Nigga, well, did you y'all actually be squatting like five hundred pounds? Yeah, because it's you. <laughs> but nah, I, nah, nigga, I, that squatting is different from from just benching, bro. You fucking knew yeah, about squatting you. is that shit. Is, yeah, that's that shit is yeah. Squatting is a whole different beast. You know why? You know why I stopped doing squats? Because everybody was like, yo, you know that gives you a big ass, right? I'm like, I don't want a big ass. I do. I don't want a big ass. No, no, no. I want a nice, tiny hiney, not a big ass. <laughs> I mean, 
but uh, it, it, can, it, can, it can burn it can burn it down too. You, just, you don't have to be on somebody. I got a big boy type shit. Ew. What? <coughs> Ew. Y'all niggas. Y'all niggas gay. Y'all niggas is gay. <laughs> y'all niggas is gay. <laughs> y'all niggas is gay. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, man. That's yeah, why I'm. Yeah. My bad, my bad, my bad. Sorry, man. You burned him, bro. Okay, so, burning. so Webster, did you watch the Legacy? Uh, I did actually. And what'd you think? I didn't think it was terrible. I mean, I liked the Luke Hang fight was dope. Um, I hate I hated the way it ended, but I guess they're gonna do a season three, whatever. You know the funny uh, shit? That dude I'm, does not know a lick of martial arts, yo. Oh. Like Fast and Furious boy, he don't. Oh, the, Brian Fast and Furious, um, Brian, yeah, Brian, Brian T does not do none of that martial arts shit. <laughs> he did pretty good for his first time, yo. Okay. I was salty as hell that Raiden didn't do nothing. I was too salty. I was like, why the I'm fuck? Glad Raiden, Raiden, Raiden did shit. nothing. I'm glad he didn't this time around because every uh-huh. Mortal Kombat, they always got Raiden doing like all the legwork. I liked, I liked the way they portrayed Raiden in the first one. Did you? Yeah, it was kind of like one flew over the cuckoo's nest mixed with like fucking. I thought it was like Thor, like a random dude just got blessed with Raiden's powers. And he has to take on the responsibility of being <laughs> Raiden, like. Cause it, cause it made no sense how he just got picked and he just I was like what the fuck is this? It's kind of man. X, X- Xbox scared. saying I got no ass. I got ass. Don't oh, make no. don't make oh. me, don't make me <laughs> get on. I ain't got no ass. Don't make me get on stage and start yeah, you twerking. You got the Hank Hill Uh-oh. though. I would pay for that. You got the Hank Hill ass. Too funny. Hank Hill ass. Oh, I'm just gonna play 2K. Twerk, twerk, twerk. Um, no. But I mean, it's like you know. I, I, I thought, I thought, like I said, I thought the way they portrayed him in the first one, I liked. The second one, they didn't really bring him too much. Um, I'm hoping the third one's just straight up fucking the fights. Did anyone else think that Ken she look like Steven Seagal? I, that's all I could. <laughs> I couldn't get that out of my fucking mind. I was like, why the fuck did they get Steven Seagal to play this? It nigga? doesn't matter, Ermac. Even he's though actually, I'm blind, he's I actually, can still see you. <laughs> <laughs> you think you got me, Ermac? Put down that knife. Show uh, me your man. He's actually, he's actually a big, a big fucking, a big yeah. actor. He, he, was voiced, a, he, yeah. he was he was a voiced, um, he was a Power Ranger, yo. Yeah. He voiced Virgil in a uh, Devil May Cry three. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's mm-hmm. the voice of Virgil that Devil May Cry. It. Yeah, the dude from Time Force, the Quantum Ranger. I was like, yo, what's this Power Ranger dude doing? <laughs> <laughs> Quantum Ranger. Quantum Ranger, nigga. And that Ermac yeah. looked filthy. That, that oh, was, everybody was the best. That the that was the worst nah, design for Peter. Ermac I've ever seen in my entire Ermac was like uh Ermac was like a demonic hobo. Ermac was the Hobbit. That nigga look like a nasty ass, like Crypt Keeper's cousin or something. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga look like Dog. <laughs> Yeah. Now here's the question I don't get. Why did they let why did they use the why did they use the actual uh they use the actual like the that was it that the MK the MK nine Ermac? Like we are but we are we we are many, you are but one. I'm like, wait a minute, that's the sound bite from the game. What the fuck? Yeah. It's like the Ermac sound bite. I was like, wow, really? He wasn't just they didn't just have his own deal. You read this sword. We are all going to fuck you up. Good. <laughs> what he didn't know was, how are you gonna be the souls of a thousand fucking losers? Like nigga, you killed them all. <laughs> that's what. The, that's the kind of logic I don't get. You, hey, you know, that is Ermac the fucking comes, truth right there, man. I didn't even think about that. Ermac shit. takes you inside of him. Okay, that's cool. But now you're the soul of a thousand dudes who fucked up. You just body. Why the fuck are you guys not laughing harder at that? That shit is perfect. Then I only learned it. After the whole does like, wait a minute. If Ermac is the embodiment of all the people who lose the battle with the sword, then you are the then you are the you are like literally the worst fucking fighter ever. ever. All in one. Can you? That's like a thousand dance in one. Nickel. But see, this part of it, I this part of it, I didn't understand. He goes in to get the sword, gets his eyes blown out. How he got, well, did he? Did he get the sword? How the fuck did he have yeah, the sword? Yeah, he got the sword. sword. That was the price of the sword. The swords. He said that if you won, you would trade something for that power. He traded his eyesight for the power, because he was like, if you win, the sword still takes away something. You give up something to gain the powers of that sword. Uh, and his eyesight was the what he gave, he gave up. up. 
Yeah, because why, why don't you just give up his fucking nuts? Just give up your testicles or a kidney well, or some out, shit, nigga. The fucking Outworld, he's like nigga. Daredevil and shit. So who cares? I mean, hey. an Outworld, he's fucking Daredevil. At least, at least they did the one thing right. Because when when Kenshi did back for it too, Ermac lost the whole match. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like in the game. When he, I forget what it's called, back for it too, but when he did it, that was the end of the match. He must have been near the tree, so he was in the corner. I did like no- how he did Ermac <laughs> Slam, though. Like, 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 like Ermac Slam. I like how they did that. Yeah. Because, like, he kind of kind of sort of pinned him down and left, like, okay, now that makes a lot more sense than just I lift you up. He's He slams you down with force and uses that, like, momentum to to like lift you up okay that was cool and then throws those like red fucking little snake thing red. on the jiggies at yeah. him I was like uh okay that came okay, so from should, nowhere should, so should we blow yeah. up uh the MK Legacy de- uh developer or director or the fuck you call I'm him because special effects. Th- cause didn't he special say effects. didn't that nigga say that or did him and Warner Brothers okay this is me putting y'all y'all yeah, fuckers on blast didn't y'all uh, say y'all was gonna have a, 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 a new release character that was gonna be the next thank MK you game? that's Who's in the movie that was the movie was Say what? Oh, now? the movie. Oh, it's for the movie. movie. It was the nah, movie. He said the yeah. damn. It's gonna be a new dude. I thought it was. Oh, the movie. movie. It was for the movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, he corrected himself. You know what? You know what I think happened with this. Um, and this Bullshit. is my this is my personal opinion. I'm just taking an educated guess. Um, the movie. It, it, it's been done for a while. They wanted to release it. They wanted to time it with something you know MK related to get released, and. Nothing was coming out, and they, he was probably getting anxious. And he was like, "Look, you know, I'm sitting on all these episodes. I didn't like releasing them all in one day. I kind of did because sometimes I, sure I would did. just miss them, and I didn't like missing whole chunks of the story. And because Machinima at the time didn't even have them all in one damn section, if you missed one, you had to go all the way back on Machinima's page to even find a damn thing. Yeah, but I would rather I, 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 I'd rather look forward to something once a week." I'm just pissed uh-huh. off at how much I thought. I thought the carry was going to get like a shitload of like screen time. He only had like a little bit. A lot of fatality. Oh, yeah. Fatality. fatality. <laughs> Flawless victory. I don't know, James. <laughs> and, and one aspect I feel like since I sat through and watched every episode, it kind of like kept me glued to the screen. Where yeah, exactly. I, whereas if I would have had to watch it like once a week and it's like 10, 15 minutes and it's not really that that great of, a, of a series. I probably would have stopped caring like after we. Yeah, talked. you know what? I could agree. As a whole, I think it kept me more attracted yeah. to it. That if like I had to break that one. up into pieces, I would. I might have yeah. the way they the way they cut them. I would have been disappointed. Yeah, like in the first one, I only watched certain ones. I watched the uh, Jax Kano one, the Johnny Cage one, Sub Zeros, which was a fucking it's mistake. You know, like, F-I. I, yeah, that sure was a mistake. It was like a. Uh, it was like, like a. Oh, it was bad. It just, it just made no sense to me because in the in the Legacy 2, they kind of went back on a few of the things that the Legacy 1, like Scorpion Sub-Zero, like story, like, it, it, it just kind of, maybe it's just me not watching it all the way or not paying attention, but some of that shit didn't make no sense because the first time they showed the Scorpion Sub-Zero deal, when he was with his wife and them, they said that they, like, um, they were still at war anyway. They never had a truce. It, they, they just said that the Emperor wanted them over there to go talk about a truce or talk about something, and then he just fucked around and just got killed. Like, that just made no sense to me. Yeah, but then, when, he, then when they were walking down that road, all of a sudden there was a truce yeah. that, was, that, was, that was kind of... Oh, okay. Formed. So there was some kind of truth that was made, but, you know, it... it, it yeah, it, it did kind of... But you can't... Look, the movies, are, the, movies the shorts, are kind of like the game. Fucked up. You know, it's like today all of a sudden Fujin's the god of thunder and, and relinquishes it, and you know, and then this guy wants was to be. Fujin, the, was Fujin ever? I, no, I know he, Fujin's the, Fujin el- is the, is he the elder god. He became, he's win, he right? became an elder god, yeah. So oh, he becomes Kai, elder god. Kai, Kai, Kai took Raiden's spot. Kai is cold. Dude, Kai was always good anyway. Leave him alone. Kai was that boy. <laughs> Kai was the best. Kai. Kai was that brother. Kai, Kai was that brother that they were like. Yo, let's give him windmills. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll make him jump real high. Let's just stereotype him. Hey, he's first of all, he's gonna be like Lucky D from the Black Supremacy. Uh, hey, first of all, we had David Hasselhoff as Rico. Fuck, fuck what you heard, yo. What? David Hasselhoff what? as Rico. Rico was the best character in the game. You can combo a fatality. 
Like if you if, if you ended your sit with four down forward and all four buttons, it would end the combo with the fatality. And yeah. I was like, yo, David Hasselhoff all day. But bitch. but can jump but can jump but he, can he uppercut off three heads like Johnny Cage? No. no. No, he can't. Johnny Cage is a demigod. He makes life, Nick. He's like, you know he makes <laughs> it and takes it. Takes it. I, I, I honestly, I like them. I like the way they portrayed him. I just wish, like, I mean, I wanted to see more of like some of his moves. I wanted to see somebody get punched in the nuts. Everybody got like they only showed two moves of everyone. That's my family. moves. <laughs> yeah, Melina did it to him. Melina hit him in the nuts. I just heard it, bitch. When he said that, that's for my shades, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's as hell. And Katana, I think I said too. Yeah, yeah. Like seriously, Casper Van Dien, even though he doesn't fight much, and and he and I gotta admit, he even said so in the in the uh, the little live cast. He was like, "Look, guys, martial arts, it really isn't my thing. I try a little bit, but he was like." You don't. I couldn't do a split to save my life, so you might not see it in future episodes. And he, I mean, at least he was honest about it. Yeah. He's like, "Look, I, I can, I can do everything else, but the splits." Yeah. So you might see like a Casper Van Dien nut punch. He's like, "I'm just gonna like slide and punch him in the nuts." Yeah. Yo, you, like, okay, you know what? You know what would be absolutely classic for them to do if you mm. in the movie they actually cast John Claude Van Damme as Johnny Cage. He's the real Johnny Cage. He's the real Johnny Cage. <laughs> oh my. And they got him, and they got him. Yo, did you ever see? You ever see his daughter? Yeah, Who's actually, he has Johnny a son too. No, his daughter. His no. daughter's martial arts and shit. Uncle Van Dam is yeah, his daughter. Oh yes. Yeah. Yo, nigga, you see Bolo Young's son? No. <laughs> Dude, Bolo Young's son looks just like Bolo Young. That nigga cloned himself. Like Bolo <laughs> Young's son looks built. I mean, he's fucking. This dude's like nineteen. He's like built this shit, and then you see him next to his dad, and it's like, how the fuck can he make two? So if Bolo Young has children, he just creates more Bolo Youngs. <laughs> like it doesn't even matter, a girl or boy, it's just Bolo fucking Young. He just comes back, nigga. Like yo, I'm telling you, man. Like the Mortal Kombat thing for YouTube, that was the best thing to hit Machinima for um for a minute. I think that hopefully, I hope that they have a better one in three because yeah, leaving it with like the Shang Tsung versus Liu Kang deal. You know, part two. I was like, I wanted to see the fight. Now I don't know if it's because Brian just couldn't fight, and they are like teaching him how to fight, you know, and shit. I don't know. But right now, it's just like a stare down, and that was it. That kind of pissed me off. Well, I mean, I seriously hope that the movie is absolutely nothing. I mean, absolutely hundred percent nothing like these series. Because I mean, I'm gonna be serious. Something I mean, different. I, I I thought the ser- this one was better than the one before. But overall, it's really terrible. It really is. I mean, it's not, like, great. It's not nothing that I would, like, go to a box office and, like, spend money on or invest in, period. You know? I mean, this is this is some shit that I still feel like, motherfucker, if the, th- if the, st- if the six of us came together and we had a camera and a shitty fucking uh, script, we would do this or do better. <laughs> yeah, I really do. I mean, here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw this up. Check this out. Check, check this shit out. Oh, baby, shit, no. If Bolo Jr. played Liu Kang, everybody would lose. Webster, are you proposing that Tester might make their own Mortal Kombat movie? I'm test. I'm proposing that I should be in somebody's goddamn movie, and I guarantee you. <laughs> that I, that, <laughs> I'm tired of this shit with my own movie. Yeah, check. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Check this out. This is Van Damme's daughter. Wait, what? This is Van Damme's daughter on screen right now. I'm going to this up. We don't see nothing. Wow. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna try something. Oh, damn. Hey, I don't see anything. I don't see anything either yet on the stream. Oh, I don't have the stream on. <laughs> Bless sport. <laughs> you are next. But yeah, Brian, I, <laughs> I would take a karate that. kick to the face this match. Damn, That's how we must do it. To do this it. is actually Van Damme crying on the ground. He's like, ah! I can't see. You killed my friend. I mean, I got like, you got the yeah, helicopter kick down and coast. everything. Look at this shit. I got a buddy in the Northeast Coast. He goes by Anna New. I think that's his real name. And he does like um, web series on like various like martial arts flicks. And I think everything he's done is better than everything I've seen in MK Legacy. And, and it's just him and like a, a small group of people. 
He's not like supported by Warner Brothers or Machinima or nothing. So his his shit is quality for for not being like mainstream or anything like high level or anything supposedly. Dude, so, did you see that? Yo, did you see that Wonder Woman joint? That Wonder Woman like fan yo. film, dude. How did this I guy do in two minutes and thirty seconds with a fucking whole multi-million dollar TV corporation you can do in three years of planning? That shit was beast. I ain't gonna lie. If that Wonder Woman shit came out, I'd watch it wholeheartedly. Wait, what? Can, Dude, what? there's a Wonder Woman fan film that was off the fucking hook. Uh, hey, oh, yeah, hey, I heard about that. Hey, put that right here in the link. Put that right here. All right, let me find. I gotta find it again on my YouTube deal because someone someone linked it to me and I watched it. And I was like, this is gonna be bad, and then boom. I saw it and I was like, "Oh my oh, god!" So is she fighting Ares? No, no, it's, it like, a, no, it's like a giant Asian. Minotaur army and shit. Oh. Well, guys, I'm going to be getting out of here mainly because I, I, I know nothing about MK or Injustice or anything of that sort. So <laughs> I'm. Be button and fail. What's good I'm, on that, my little pony? Man. So I am pretty <laughs> out of place here. Um, and I suppose I'd like to put forth a public service announcement that isn't much of a public service announcement, so I'm pretty sure either nobody cares or everyone knows. Can you say about Chris G? No. No. If anyone here has played King of Fighters 13 online, now imagine playing that on a 4G connection. Now imagine playing that with lots of frame drops. Oh, that this nigga is, playing JoJo's. This is JoJo's. <laughs> that nigga playing JoJo's. You know how I know? Because he said that. Yep, he said that. Yo, imagine not being able to link shit and you got a four second fucking input lag. That's JoJo's bizarre adventure right now. Okay, was, listen here. The the, the uh, net code is terrible. He's right, but the game is fun as fuck. So the game is fun play. if you can find a friend that actually. Wants I to am leave. glad I actually have lots of friends that want to play it and stuff. Oh, so, beautiful! Man. And guess what? Jojo's is better than Justice. Oh, hold that shit, bitches! No, it's not. Oh no, it's not. Jo- Jojo's is pretty fucking. Terrible. I don't know, man. It's probably Jojo's one of the that game is really fun so fighting games. Justice is that bad.